<sighs> Damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! Boy, Shot, Shot vs. A-Bite Podcast, episode one, goddamn 30, man. We got special guests in the building. We got motherfucking a mother. I'm going to start with mother and shit, because that's important and shit, dog. Got a goddamn actress, a uh, rapper, picture she be posting shit, goddamn model. <laughs> and she had baked the hell out of a strawberry shortcake cheesecake and shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> we got Miss Marie, a.k.a. Isis, the goddess, a.k.a. Big big Ice and shit in this motherfucker, dog. Period, big What's Ice. Good? What's the deal, shot? What's up? When last time you baked one of the motherfucking cheesecakes? Oh, shit. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know, the real one or the... No, you're the real boy. Oh, okay. It's, it's been a few years. It's been a, it's been a few years. Yeah, as I do my research, I see you, you know what I'm saying, you get you do your thing in the kitchen. Wow, yeah. Like that's crazy a bit. you brought that up. I used to tell them bitches for your pop. For real? The, the cheesecake? When it first came, like, big, was a big thing, a popular thing. Yeah. I saw, like, 10 to 20 a day. Why, why the hell you stopped that hustle? Man, it just... Too nobody, much? nobody wanted to join me on the on the little up and coming. Yeah. I had a bigger plan. Nobody, you know. For then, sure. Yeah, it was too much. Then see, that's that's what I'm talking about, man. That's one thing you gotta have a girl that can cook. You know what I'm saying? Throw down. Y'all can't be going out to eat every day and shit, man. Definitely. Nowadays, motherfuckers ain't cooking like grandma with the motherfucking, uh, with the elbows. And the, the elbow meat. meat. Hell yeah, you need that. When grandma cook with that with the house coat, you already know you about to get you a good ass yes, meal. Yes, yes. You know, right. recipe to my grandma, man. She makes some good ass motherfucking Mom, meals granny. and shit, though, for sure. But uh, we start everything y'all with salute me while I'm here. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? It can't be nobody, you know what I'm saying, that's close to you. It can't be no parents, no kids. If you're in a relationship, it got to be somebody outside of that easy-ass answer and shit. Because a lot of times you wait for people to pass and make that long-ass Facebook status like, damn, we miss Keisha. Or, right. you know what I'm saying, we love Craig and shit. So it got to be somebody, you know what I'm saying, who wouldn't expect a shout-out from you or the salute. Who wouldn't expect a shout-out from me? Or salute just on what they doing, he or she, you know what I'm saying, but not... In that close range of family, like your kids. Right, right, right. Out, no. I mean, well, definitely it had to be hell of a. Okay. Big shout out to him. For um, sure. Definitely played a major part in my career and things that he don't even know that mm -hmm. he affected me in different aspects of life. For sure. For sure. So that, that's why you rock with Heavy then? Yes. What up, dog? Hey, you rock with her heavy, dog. Come through, dog. I've been. I know you probably don't check your DMs from us little niggas and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! See, that's what I love about him. Stuff yeah. like that. Like if he was here and he heard you say that, he'd be like, "Man, come on, bro." Like, right, well, you, hey. like he really that that nigga. Like he treat the the janitor like the the boss. For sure, for sure. How important is it to have like somebody like like that around? Like, cause when you in the studio, you recording shit. I used to be a rapper back in my life. Old life and shit. Mm -hmm. But when you got that person that you can connect with who can keep it real with you, how important is it to find somebody who can, you know what I'm saying, on your team like that or just, you know, on your side? Very important. It's, it's just all about the pushing, the pushing, the making you step out your box, irritating you, making you mad. But mm -hmm. they trying to they trying to get you to see what they see. And exactly. when I first met Helly, like after a few weeks, um, he like he like, Before I actually work with you, I wanna I wanna give you a challenge. He gave me a challenge. Yeah. He told me, um, he told me I got two days to to aca to to rap acapella, mm -hmm. Nicki Minaj and um and Eminem, um, okay. Dungeon oh, yeah. Dragon. Yeah, yeah, that shit hard. He said, "With no, without looking at your phone, without looking at a paper, without stopping, without without stuttering, without messing up." And I came back and did it, and and he gave me the beats that he said he was gonna give me. For like, sure. Hell yeah, yeah. And you got a hella beat, then you you know you already know. Once you hear that motherfucker, hell of on the motherfucking shit. Mm -hmm. You gonna you gonna tune in just to see what it's about. And you shit. wanna see? Hell yeah, shout out to hell of it. So have there been a time? That, him or anybody else made you mad that you like fuck? I'm not even about to even finish this recording. I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, you got a story. Oh, <laughs> um, I got one story. Mm -hmm. Like I was put on the spot. Um, this one I was hanging with Vez and him a lot. Um, so um, Tizzle okay. was there feeding me, trying to feed me bars. Like I used to say this, yeah. say this, say this. I'm like after a, it, it just it just was too much because I had him. I had the other producer Lee. Shout out to Lee Booker. I had him in my ear and it was just like. This y'all first time seeing me rap like in a studio. Like, can y'all see what I got first? And mm -hmm. then it just it just felt like that that masculine trying to take over and, yeah, and yeah. control me. And you love for shit. And I and I I, I stopped recording. <laughs> I was bitch to fit. <laughs> Damn there. I'm like, get out yeah, my ear. For sure. Like y'all messing up my creativity. For sure, man. Yeah. Shout out to the motherfuckers that keep it real, cause 
We lot of niggas in the studio be like, yeah, that shit's straight. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. That's one thing I appreciate. Nah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, that's, that's very sure. true. Because this nigga right here, when I was doing music or with this podcast, he, yeah, that shit, he, he won't say it's trash. That nigga cuss at me, cuss me out, say that shit with ass. Like, damn, make you feel all type of bad shit. But shout out to the motherfuckers that keep it real for real. For yeah, real. for sure. Now, shit, this motherfucker year almost over and shit. Summer almost over. That shit came by. Did a quick drive by. How your 2022 been? Give me some ups, some downs. Just how it's been overall for you? I uh, lost a lot of people. Mm. Um, but I see the vision clearer. Mm -hmm. You know, I see what I need to do. I mm -hmm. work like this year actually been the most that I work. For sure. Most I've been in the studio. Most videos I shot. Most songs I released in yeah. a certain amount of time. For sure. Now you say you lost a lot of people. How you how you deal with that? Like how you deal with that with that death? Cause I ain't lost a lot of motherfuckers in my life. Like I ain't became numb to that shit. Like close it, close people. See, I just start. It just start happening to me. Like the older I got, mm -hmm. so it's like um, it was new. Mm -hmm. But I even forget, try to forget, mm. not forget, but try. Like yeah. I go out of town, for sure. Spend a month in Atlanta or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which is why I was traveling so much earlier this year. Mm. Um, you know, just work. Yeah. So that's the, this this whole year been about work, huh? Yeah. Progress. Lost a few people, got over that junk. Mm -hmm. So shoot, when last time you cried? <laughs> Give me a good cry story. Like what, this year, like last time you cried, shit, dog. I'll tell you my cry moment and shit. You tell me yours. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Um, the last time I cried, goddamn, it was yesterday. Okay, dang, it was close. Then, what? Okay, it, it's okay for me to ask you why, or are you going to keep that to yourself? I mean, it was just a song was playing, some mm -hmm. relatable shit was being said. I was driving to the water. Mm -hmm. uh, I had the kids in the back. We was about to go barbecue yesterday. Yeah. Um, stuff like that. So for sure. It's just kind of like um, that shit hit you like. Yeah. Well, you, you are you one of them ugly criers or like you keep it? Nah, you keep it. You like, keep it sexy like I'm gonna cry with sexy like sex appeal and shit. I mean, <laughs> I don't. I don't think I try to even control yeah. how I look at all yeah. when I cry. But if I'm around people, like for one, I, I don't cry in front of people. Mm. You know, for real, never. Not really. Damn. <laughs> Unless it's like, and you know, uncontrollably or something, something yeah. you know, devastating. For but, sure. Nah. Yeah, I was mad as hell. My son called me crying when Kobe died. I cried. <sighs> you, you, who was that that I felt like that with recently that when they died, bro? Was it Dolph? Dolph. Oh, okay. Oh, I cried for two days. But yeah. you know, I cried because I really loved For Dolph. sure. Hell yeah. Hell like, yeah. Hell yeah. And I mean, the old Dolph. I yeah. mean, I when I was in Atlanta, you know, with my, when, I was, when I was down the way, <laughs> <laughs> and I had stopped in the O to do my little flip wop. Yeah, um, I feel you, I feel you. Um, we had stopped at his concert, and it's my first concert ever. Okay. And it was a local concert, though. It was like in a um, little club, but they had a nice stage. Jacquees was there okay. opening up for him. I didn't know who the fuck Jacquees <laughs> was. Mm -hmm. So this would give you a ballpark of whatever time this was. And, um, and... I got on stage with Dolph. He had the whole Detroit fit on. Okay. Ohio hated that, by yeah, the way. Yeah. This is when Ohio really hated Detroit. Like, it was a thing. We couldn't even say it was from Detroit. Yeah, Like, yeah. or they'll try to on do your something. Head. Yeah. yeah. So, it was like that. It was like that. They hated us with a passion. Now, they yeah. kind of love us, and yeah. we love them back. So, I mean, we kind of... You know, people going... <laughs> People gonna hate and love Detroit at the same time. You know. You know what I'm saying? Copy all that. And man. So, man, salute Detroit, man. We just, we kind of like, we out here, you know what I'm saying, setting trends and shit with this music shit. Like, niggas finally starting to recognize who we are and shit as a city. Mm -hmm. At first, the niggas kind of just scared to fuck with us, but now they like, shit, open arms and shit. Right, for sure. You know sure. what I'm saying? Shout out to, uh, who just got Vezos got to deal with, uh, with QC and shit. Yeah. Like, shout out to, uh, to, to that, to that nigga, man. So, we, we talking about the year and shit. Like, do you ever go into a year like, all right, I gotta get this shit, do it like this, A, B, C, or you just go with the flow? I go with the flow. So you don't go to the new year like damn I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat grass this this motherfucker year I'm gonna lose weight and shit like. No, I used to do that when I was a kid, but like um, the older I got, um, I realized that things is, things is yeah some things you can't really control just the way that you you go with the flow yeah. and how you handle situations certain situations because something sure. can stop your progress. For sure, for sure. What's something you learned about yourself this year that might, might surprise you? Like damn, that I really got a problem. Shit, I know you're Gemini. Maybe shit. I am the problem. Is it because you're a Gemini? I mean, I am a Gemini. Yeah, because yeah, we, we he a Gemini. I might, I might, I don't know. I'm, I might mix. Look, I, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of learning that whole thing yeah. too. Like so when you say you got ooh. a problem, like t talk to me about that. Like problem in, in relationships, friendships, you just with dealing with people. Like what? When you say you, you learned you got a problem. Like come on, talk to me because I don't want people to think you crazy. Okay, cause okay, <laughs> my cousin had told me the other day. Like I talk to people like like they're redundant like they're yeah. like you know like 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 if it's a fact that i feel like everyone should know mm -hmm. and i and i and i catch someone up on what they messed up on that fact mm -hmm. i talk to them like they just the stupidest person in the world um 
And I guess I was doing this to him, and I didn't notice it. And then I started noticing what I what I do. And then I had a homegirl, so I used to talk to her like like she was my kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in reality, is that that I really feel like I'm just as young as y'all. I'm younger than y'all, or yeah. I'm just as young as y'all. Yeah. How the fuck you don't notice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. So you get angry with the you. You feel me? Especially a person that came from the the background I came from. Yeah. Had to learn shit on my own. Bitch, you had your mom. Bitch, you had your dad. Like sure. you little shit like that, or bitch, you 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 know. You you had this type of environment, that type of environment. Like, how you ain't know this? Yeah, already? yeah, yeah. So, shit, how you with the kids? Got sometimes like, damn, nigga, three plus three. Like, how <laughs> you, like, dude, cause you got patience when you got kids, and you, especially when you teaching. Cause we just got finished talking about this shit for you came. Mm -hmm. Like the school system don't be teaching kids like how they, you know, saying should be. So yeah. you gotta do that little extra little work at the crib. Yeah. So how did you like with your kids? Like you, you got patience. You impatient. You learning. You, you know, what I'm saying you growing. Was very impatient at first, mm -hmm. but as I learned, like, dang, these. These motherfuckers really was just born. Yeah, for sure. They don't know nothing right now. Like, <laughs> I really was like, damn, I really need to step back and baby step this and like, mm -hmm. you know, and try to explain to them because I remember, like, I just start remembering when mm -hmm. I didn't know something. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a different thing so, now. would you say that's some shit that you want to change too? Like, maybe yeah. like, you're just, just your patience or whatever? Oh, yeah. I, I, honestly, I want to change my overall, the way I talk and deal with people because... Mm -hmm. Um, I don't talk and deal with people based on their ways or how they look mm. or, you know, where they at in life. I, it's really their common sense. For sure. And no, if for you sure. seem slow to me for or sure. stupid, for sure. For sure. Well, you know, I'm sorry. No, I'm you agreeing know? with you. Unless was... you really are that. But, yeah. You know, yeah, I know. Yeah, they didn't bend my part. <laughs> but I had a relationship with that. I used to be like, man, please don't say nothing. Like, we get around him and, like, other people and shit, who, you know what I'm saying? Niggas hood, but niggas still smart at the same time. And then she'd try to say some smart shit. And back in my mind, I'd be like, dog. Man. Come on. Calm man, down, calm like, down. You turn around. Yeah, you, you turn around. Now I gotta let your ass go, dog, because you, you got me out here looking dumb as fuck, too, dog. Mm -hmm. Goddamn. Now, uh, what's something that people be shocked about to know about you? Like, we already say you, you know what I'm saying, you bake the hell out of a cheesecake. Mm. You, you get your cook on. What's some shit that niggas would be shocked about? Like, damn, we didn't know about, you know what I'm saying, know about that. That I could be shy sometimes. Mm. Like, when I come into um, a certain, depending on the, the situation. Yeah. Like you said I walked in here, I ain't y'all. For sure. Know for sure. But um, I didn't give y'all no shy energy, right? Yeah. It's just, it's that situation. I'm here for business. That's what I'm here for. Mm. But when it's become like, oh, we want you to talk to him, or yeah. like little shit like that, like, I'll be a little shy. Yeah. Um, unless it's somebody that's timid in my eyes yeah. because they can't look me in my eyes. For sure. Then I run that situation. Yeah. I'm shining. Yeah. I, I don't think Now, that's twice. some shit that I had to work on myself. Like, I remember my cousin cussed me out one time. Shout out to my cousin Gina. I was talking every time I talked to her, I'd be like, I look down. Yeah. And she'd be like, dog, you gotta listen to my now, cause they gonna be thinking like, all right, nigga, I already run like your you ass. Will. You know I, what I own you. Yeah. But then sometimes it be a habit and shit. I swear. Sometimes be, yeah, no, for sure. You. That's what she said. Sometimes, like when I go to a job interview now, like, nigga, I'm a motherfucking look at your ass, like, you know what I'm saying? Cause then they're gonna be thinking like, damn, I yeah, like you said, I own yeah. you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So that's some shit that I think like, scared of me. Yeah. <laughs> you ever had dudes scare you? Oh. <laughs> Favorite rapper, favorite rapper scared of me. Now, all these niggas scared of me, to be honest, but hey. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> they Yo. stutter, they repeat they stuff, and they don't remember what they done did, and then yeah. they walk away sweaty. Yeah. And they ain't even pop a perk. What's it? What's... <laughs> hey, man. So what What you think about you, about yourself that intimidate dudes when they, you know, say they're trying to come up on your holler? I think it's the fact that, um, of course, I'm attractive, mm -hmm. um, but I can control a room as well. Mm-hmm. Like, I can hang with some of the big dogs. Yeah, I'm sure. not in the room being gawked at as, oh, yeah, we about to pay her a couple hundred. No, I'm in the room like, damn, this bitch might as well come sit down at the desk, too. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I'm you know, I'm having those conversations. I'm keeping that um, keeping that attention on me and for not sure. in just a sexual way. For sure, for sure. You got to be like that, though. Like, you got to everybody, men or women, got to have that confidence within themselves. So yeah. as a nigga feel like they can, you know what I'm saying, control you or mm -hmm. they, they over you, then it's a wrap. Yeah, you shit, that's with power. job, that's with business, that's with mm -hmm. shit, whatever. You meet somebody and shit, like, oh, this nigga ain't shit. Very true. You know what I'm saying? Very true. So, shit, what motivates you every day and keep you going, like? Of course the kids. Okay. How many How many you got? I got three. All right, what's what's the ages? Well, I... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to get so personal okay, when okay. it comes to my kids. Cool, like, I got if you, you notice, I don't really post them like that. Yeah, unless yeah, it's yeah. like birthday here and there or something. So you, know. you do that just to like, so niggas can't, they don't say nothing crazy, you don't it, pop off? It's a lot of weird people in this world. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Just like how the mother was saying she was doing her son hair on live mm. and they were making him cry because they were calling him girls. And mm. she, I guess she's a popular person or something. Mm. However, she's doing his hair on live. Who on, why are you doing his hair on live? You yeah, for attention, sure. Yeah, right? goddamn hair. Or something. Yeah. It is some long ass beautiful hair. Yeah. I get what you're doing, but now this is why your son crying. 
mm-hmm. because he's reading the comments while he while he's getting his exactly. hair done. He's yeah. busting out crying. Yeah. He keeps saying I look like a girl. Like no, I'm not about to introduce that to my kids. I got a lot for of sure. and then you got perverts out here. No facts. People yeah, that look yeah. at kids in the wrong way. No, for sure. That's like because I got two separate pages. I got my personal page and I got my motherfucking podcast page. Mm-hmm. I don't post my family on my podcast page because if somebody say something crazy, you'd be like, you know, you're gonna pop off. Yeah, a you're on shit. tip now. Yeah. So for nothing. Over no, I feel a you, that fan one. or an enemy to, who's faking as a fan yeah. that's under there on the fake page. Hell yeah, for sure, for sure. So uh talk to me about growing up, like, you know what I'm saying? Touch on that, like who was in the crib. We already you already say you from the East Side, thank God. Big East so anytime side. I get motherfuckers come on the show. West side, west side, west side. Big east side. So shit, tell, tell, tell me where you tell me where you from on the east side, who was in the crib, you know what I'm saying? All that good shit. I was in the crib, I had dope in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't gonna I'm gonna say shit. It's like no I'm But no, I'm all like, yeah. shit is not. Um granny, her mm-hmm. kids. Mm-hmm. Um you know. Okay. <laughs> what about what about the parents and shit? They wasn't. Um, my mom and my dad really wasn't around that much. Um, mm-hmm. at first, like first few years, I say. Mm-hmm. But then later on, um, later on, my dad ended up getting killed. Okay. Oh shit. Rest in peace. Yeah. 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 Long live pops. Oh yeah. So, uh, did you have siblings or was it just you? Oh, uh, my dad had other kids, and my mm-hmm. mom decided to have another kid when I was ten. <laughs> she gets on my nerves yeah, to this big day. Age gap and shit, man. But um, but she doing her thing. Um, yeah. she's growing up on me, and she um, she's starting to move out and do her own thing now. Um, that's my little sister. Shout out to Cashmere, Big okay. Ari, Ari with an A. But For you know, sure. um, sure. she actually can rap too. So I've been okay. trying to get her to do her thing. Okay. Um, but yeah, so my mom ended up having another baby all them years later, and then my dad already had a couple kids before me. I was Would you rock with your dad kids? Was I ra- rocking? Rockin'? Rockin oh, yeah. Kids. To be honest, when I got like 16, I started hanging with my older sisters a mm-hmm. lot more, and right now I've been reaching out to my um same age and younger mm-hmm. siblings lately. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, growing up, like you said, you, you raised by, by grandma and John, you know what I'm saying, you in the crib. Did that affect you any type of way, not having both parents at the crib and shit like that, or not around? Like, did you grow up or... And, you might not realize that shit then, but once you got older, you might see some shit. I know what you mean. I yeah. see it now because, mm-hmm. like, um, I really feel like back then I didn't crave attention. I didn't, you know, I was a crab baby. I'm not yeah. gonna lie because I yeah. wanted what I want. I was a brat. For sure. Um, and my grandma <laughs> spoiled me because I was her only first grandkid. You know. Mm-hmm. However, I feel like now, like, when people accuse me of wanting attention. Mm-hmm. And things like that. Yeah, you go, you get pissed. You know, and be like, bitch, if you only know, yeah, like, yeah, I, walk, yeah. I walk backwards all day sure. so a nigga don't look at my ass. Like, yeah, 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 I yeah. got that in me, but that came from being that the little girl in a, in a household, mm. you know, that when I probably didn't get that much attention, mm. you know? And I don't crave it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's you, not in me. Oh, yeah, for sure. Do you fight a lot? Or no. did you used to fight a lot? Uh-uh. Okay, all right. Just had to ask. You said one of the motherfuckers who don't tolerate shit and just throw hands. Mm-mm. I used to, like, I, I used to scratch up my um <laughs> like nigga fuck that. What you say? I, everybody scratch. called me a cat. They yeah. used to say I was a cat back in the day because um I had long sharp nails. Yeah. So I used to um scratch the motherfuckers up, fuck man. them up, bleeding. Ooh, <laughs> man. Or I, I go to extreme. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I knew I should know I was crazy back then because like I grabbed the press and comb the fuck out of my uncle. Shout out Boo Bear. Duh. Uh, you probably still got that mark with them teeth still showing. Man. Like <laughs> what like, the fuck he do? Man. Man. Just, man. J- just, just in my personal space, man. commenting on me like it, it just hit me. I was sixteen. I, I grabbed that press and comb. Man. I came downstairs with my robe on. He like put your robe. On. You got your body showing. I'm like, and I really don't. Man. I grabbed that press and comb because he was running up on me. Man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it just cooked the skin. Hell yeah, I bet shit. Cause I'm here, shit. Well, fuck it. Uh, the one <laughs> man, man, was was niggas pressing hair back in two thousand four and shit three. Niggas I got my hair pressed oh. one time. Don't judge me and shit. Though. Yeah, they, they was pressing. They was pressing. <laughs> I went to like Snoop and shit and get my shit braided and make yeah, that bitch be a little longer and shit. You, know, you could have got you a kit though. No, 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 no. You know, niggas putting kits in their in they pubic hairs nowadays. What you mind, the little dupe? Little kit. They putting a little kit on the other Oh, thing. shit, no. I'm good. Yeah, that's, that's a little extra <laughs> shit, dog. That's a little too extra right there. I'm good. You yeah, got a kit, kit for the dick. <laughs> like, kit. You said something that um earlier. You said walking backwards because you don't want niggas to see your ass. That's some shit like. Like you, are you? Cause a lot of motherfuckers like to show that motherfucker. I mean, well, a lot of females. I said a lot of motherfuckers, but a lot of females like to show that, show that ass. Too shit, they nah, keep I... sagging. <laughs> but I will. <laughs> um, that was something you were self conscious about, or then you like? It, I got it, ass. It's because like, I had I had a big butt and big thighs and mm. uh, hips. Really? I was real hippie at a For young sure. age. For sure. I was like 10, 12, you mm-hmm. know. So it it was kind of weird to me getting that um out of nowhere Man, from being. 
um, invisible yeah. to being seen, mm-hmm. you know? So I think that's what really affected me. Was all the dudes trying to holler at you back then? You just because of that? Yeah, man. That's, honestly, that's what I oh, missed man, see, I after hate the a while. So. Oh, shit. I when hate... I did, like, you know, it yeah. was older dudes. Yeah, is that something you still like? You still fuck with the older dudes over the, over the niggas your age? Honestly, like, I would say I do, but I just recently, like, like I would say in the past, like, year, like, went back and tried to talk to somebody that was, like, my age or a, a year or two younger, mm-hmm. and it was fun. Yeah. It but, was fun. In fun way, but, like, because you say fun, like, I'm using them fun. It was, it, <laughs> I, I, it ain't, I ain't gonna say using, um, which... I don't know if you want to say using like, like you like know you hang toy. out with your lit girl or yeah. you know if you want to say it like that yeah, you know okay, okay. it was a vibe yeah, you know yeah, some yeah. people come around me just for the vibe and yeah. I mean that's why I get booked right yeah. I give out a vibe so it makes sense so if you want to use it like that yeah, yeah. Um, so that's you, true you don't think you ever be serious with a nigga your age you gotta have somebody with some motherfucking mileage and shit I don't know <laughs> like an older cat like oh you been through some shit let me go I, ahead. Really, I really don't know because I, I felt like that at first I felt yeah. like it had to be an older cat now I feel like you know what um what's that when when you don't have a um a preference mm-hmm. of like sex or um you know when you just could be in love with an item yeah for sure with just somebody vibe or the yeah. way something looked to you you know I think I'm one of them mm-hmm. um I can't think of the right what, what's that called when you um when, when, um uh so don't give me a a something a sexual, a something sexual. I'm I'm sexual. Ne- sexual, whatever it's called. It's something oh, a sexual. Right, right. Okay. When 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 you you just attractive to the vibe. Yeah. The bitch, it could be a bitch, it could be a nigga. Could, not saying that I'm gay, you know. Pansexual. pansexual. Pan, okay. You know, and, um. There's so, so many sexuals out here. I'm be knowing. You, it yeah, is. No, for sure. You don't want to say the wrong shit. shit coming out of yeah. nowhere. You don't want to say wrong honest. shit. Be like, just right. like these holidays, but <laughs> you know, yeah. So it, it, I think I'm pansexual. Like I, I think. It's a vibe at that time, and if you that vibe. Have you ever had time. a serious relationship with a, with a female? Nah. Oh, you yeah, so it's just some of the fuck around vibe play with. I don't think I ever really got a chance to fuck around vibe or play with a female either. Yeah. yeah. Um, one incident in Atlanta, mm-hmm. we kissed something like. Yeah. <laughs> did, did, did spark, did sparks come out? It, it kind of, <laughs> it kind of did. Yeah. I was blowing and all, but this yeah. bitch, like, she was giving me clean. She was giving me sexy. She was giving me fun and flirty. You know, so it was just that vibe. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I ain't trying to vibe. I'm going to look at your cleavage, but that's a dope tattoo and shit. Like, oh, you thank you. Little, Shout <laughs> out to Africa. That shit dope as hell, though. What made you want to get that shit? Like, um, I was, <laughs> I, honestly. I don't know. For real, I didn't want to be, this nigga perfect. Like, I just so happy to nah, see that tattoo. No, all bullshit aside, before yeah. I became a rapper, I was so big. Like, if you go on my old Facebook posts. I was glad about. I was so big on, like, you know. Yeah. Um, this was before Black Lives Matter itself mm-hmm. as the, you know, the group. Yeah. But it was just every little thing, anything that has something to do with an officer or, like our, or us. Yes. <laughs> I was so deep into it. I actually tried to join um, Ned mm-hmm. near Detroit. Mm-hmm. I was only like, what, 19? Yeah. I went down there to the um, to the Russell, whatever, met up with them. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm down on my fro, my yeah. afro. Oh, yeah, was, and I'm was, sitting there serious, and I'm bitch. just, Black I'm just Panther. looking at Zeke. I'm like, I want to be y'all so much. And yeah. I, and then they hit me with the little, oh, you're going to need $50. I'm like, dang. I was like, this is a scam. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but shit, nowadays you got to really think of everything can be but, a scam. N- I mean, I'm not saying that I, it was. No, it's not that, of but, course, they know it was a scam. Um, but, I was just like one of them, like, if, if this is for us, it should be us. free. You feel me? And, yeah. and, and that's kind of the first impression. And then it's like, I wanted more. I wanted to be the leader. Like, yeah, I wanted sure. to be, like, <laughs> I, I, like, I knew something. Yeah. So, but. Uh, well, since you want to be a leader, can, can can somebody lead the relationship with you? I'm the leader of the pack. You a run. <laughs> can, you, you, do you make the dude feel like a man or are you like? You know what's crazy? I'm, I think I need that. Man, yo, you What, a leader? Yeah. Yeah. But I think I need that. you going to allow a dude to lead him. I will. And, and honestly, it ain't what I'm going to allow. It's what he going to put in the work to get no, me to sure. allow. For sure. Because a woman is only going to show her feminine side to yeah, the masculine facts. men. Hell yeah. You can't come in like no that. whole ass nigga and shit. And I'm starting to realize that I'm ready to be more feminine. I want my femi- feminality back. And I've been saying it to a homegirl and a lot of people. And even a dude that I was dealing with recently, mm-hmm. I, I, I done told people, like, I'm looking for something right yeah. now. If you can't motivate me, push me, or give me my feminality back because I didn't became so hard. Can we push each other, though? You know, yes. Yeah. You feel me? Oh, yes. Yeah, because a lot of times, you know, you a man need that push sometimes. Like so, You he, should know me. Yeah. If, you, if you know me, you should yeah. know I'm all down yeah. for that. For sure, because a nigga could be like, you know, he could come out, out the gate doing his thing, mm-hmm. then might hit a motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, tough little spot. Mm-hmm. You need that woman back. You got this shit. Uplift them. Yeah. Get them together. Get yeah. them right. A lot of motherfucking... You know, I, I I guess that's probably on both sides. You know what I'm saying? A lot mm-hmm. of motherfuckers just ease up and be like, oh, you fucking up. Let me not say shit. But you got to be like, no, you fucking up. You gaining weight. You motherfucking, you eating crazy. You need to go you, wash your ass. Yeah, you lazy. Yeah, motherfucking. 
For sure. That's important. <laughs> Very much. So, shit, let's stay, let's stay on that shit. You see, can you see yourself t- getting tied down and being married? I used to. It's like, it was always like, a, I was that little girl with that dream with the big ass wedding and shit. All that. Yeah, all yeah. That, you know. What happened to that dream? I, I, I was held down from 14 to 21. Damn, that's long as yeah, shit. Yeah, and I got babies put in me, so. Mm-hmm. And I was the wife, the, the housewife. The, I didn't have a life outside the house. Yeah. And I was being controlled a lot, so that's where so the last So you think that's probably how, why you like how you are now, like as far as you saying controlling and. I think now I'm, I'm, I'm I got a purpose. Mm hmm. I, I think I smothered myself from that purpose back in the I think I have a per- I believe I have a purpose mm-hmm. and I'm meant to be outside mm-hmm. around certain people changing their ways of thinking as well now because okay. they were stuck like me. Okay. Now the right dude got to be ready for, uh, you know what I'm saying, a, a lady like you because like I said, you around dudes, you rapping and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you know, I, I see your Instagram page and stuff like that. You know, you're showing body in that motherfucker. So how yaddy, much yaddy. a man got to have confidence for sure to be, you got know what I'm saying? To. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, um, dating as a artist right now is hard. Mm-hmm. And um, you know when they say as long as you're at the top, of course, no, none of us is at the top. Yeah. But Try when you there. start to do something, mm-hmm. it gets lonely. Yeah. I'm not at the top, so that, that just made me feel like, damn, I'm scared of the top even more. Because, like, just on my way climbing that bitch, it's yeah. like I done lost so many people, good friends, all this because of jealousies and Oh, yeah, for vibes. sure. Because you're doing something that they want to do, but oh, you actually got the balls to go ahead and do I had a bitch that I couldn't shake because she would keep pretending to be my friend. But yeah. then the whole time she really just held on to me because I was... How hard but, is that to let the motherfuckers go though? Like when you when you climbing up, you want to bring your motherfuckers, your niggas up, your your ladies up with you, right. but they looking at you like, man, fuck, fuck they secretly fuck jealous. Ice. Yeah, like man, what the fuck she thinks she doing? I had a friend tell me, I'm your friend, not your fan, yeah. so she didn't have to share my music or yeah. like she told me that. Yeah. What? She thought that was okay. You went, you went crazy. No, I didn't. Mm-hmm. My reaction did not go crazy. The way I treated her after did, mm-hmm. like just completely, just like. Yeah. You know. So, so now, like, you say you losing friends on the way up. How do you gain friends on the way up? Like, can you trust motherfuckers or like? You I was always told to let them on the tour bus, sign their titties, let them back off the tour bus. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Because that, that that's when it comes to the category of fans trying to be friends, mm-hmm. which I'm, I'm, I am I ran into a bitch recently. Mm-hmm. Um, she in one of my videos. She said <laughs> some shit to me. This bitch said that... What the bitch say? The bitch Tell me said, what that said. The bitch said, oh, working, um, being around you is working for me, Isis. Mm-hmm. Was just around the bitch for, what, a couple weeks in December, back yeah. in December. Yeah. Um, she like, um, working with you be, is, is, is starting to work for me. Mm-hmm. I'm getting booked at strip clubs. What she did, mm-hmm. her followers went up. She started getting booked at strip clubs, sure. all type of shit. Then she started calling herself the clout clock, clock god, god mm-hmm. or some shit. However... I really liked it, the bitch. Yeah. Like as a person. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I, I looked past all her real life problems that all was going on at shit. home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I looked past all the shit as what her prior, you know, shit like that. And I really liked it, her as a person. So mm-hmm. it's like, bitch, when she said that, it's just like, do you hear what you just said to me? Like, do yeah. you know that you just said that? Yeah, for sure. Dog. Is that a deal breaker though? You said like not sharing your shit. Like me, my me, and my dog, my my cousin was talking about that shit because he just got to the whole content game and shit, and he kind of like upset that. His his niggas who he thought was his boys didn't share his shit like he no like they're supposed to. But I'm telling him like, bro, it's gonna be you gonna get more love from niggas who don't know you than niggas who ride with you. Thank you. I swear for cheese and crackers, I said that in a late song of mine's um back in the day beneficial, and um um I get love from people that I barely even know, mm-hmm. and that's true. However, if it's your boy, your homie, your cousin, if you love this person, you want to see them win. What the fuck is 15 seconds out of somebody else's sure. life? It's nothing. If they even if they don't, maybe they'll click to the next story or yeah. whatever the case is. A little clip or a post. If they do roofs, post mm. they flyer. Why the For fuck sure. not? Because somebody might need a motherfucking you roof there. Yeah. But at the same time, if this person did not give you that energy, mm-hmm. you don't do, you don't owe them nothing. For sure. Like Danny, Danny told me this a long time ago. Um, Danny always winning. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's said, said, Matt. Bro, yes. Then he was like, Ice, what I look like giving somebody my platform that I worked and put in money and sweat and tears, sure. stayed up, um, doing videos, um, paying people to be in my videos, dancing, going to trip clubs, throwing money. I built this platform. What I look like giving somebody who just woke up one day and said, I want to rap. Yeah, for That's sure. That's where okay. I felt him at. Okay, okay. I feel about But outside that of that, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, your cousin do rules, your auntie cook. Yeah, somebody clean. Do it. Yeah. You know. Because like, I be on like, Facebook, like, I see some... People doing nails. I don't need my nails done, but 
put shit. One of my followers might. I will post it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like I said, I think the reason why motherfuckers, because like you said earlier, like niggas see you doing something and then kind of like be low key hating. Cause they ain't doing There's shit. There's a lot of jealousy. Nah, and with this music shit, that. with even with the podcast, with when it comes to doing something that you're passionate about, it's a leap of faith. And a lot of motherfuckers ain't got that shit. So when yeah. they see you do it, like you putting the money into it, you doing what you gotta do to build your your buzz up. They hating. They jealous that that, that your fears isn't controlling your life, and For theirs sure. is. Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. Fear is a motherfucker. So hey, don't be a hating ass friend, man. Just get, do your shit, dog. <laughs> do your you motherfucking shit. Lie. For sure, for sure. So the last thing I ask you about relationship: Can a nigga make less than you, and and, and you be in a relationship with that with that dude, as long as he got some ambitions and goals? <laughs> um, I didn't did that. Yeah. I didn't play that. That's that's my whole life. Mm -hmm. I never went no other way. I can yeah. honestly say it's two dudes I ran into that showed me how it tastes to be with like a nigga with some money. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, and that's over the my whole years though. Mm -hmm. So um, out of them two dudes, um. They was it was genuine, it was real, and my love was genuine too. Mm -hmm. Like even though they had more money than me, I was genuine. Yeah, for sure. Like it was there, it was true, and yeah. then just be they money amplified. For sure. For it took sure. away my some of my stress. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it it, it kind of made me want that back. Then of course I go back to another dude that ain't really got it like that, and I always been a bread runner in the relationship, especially when I was in those relationships from that fourteen. Oh, so is that the 21. one that you was uh, spending all them times at Applebee's getting those dollar margaritas from? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that was him. But that was yeah. before they was the dollar margarita. But we would just do the two for twenty yeah. before they had the twenty five. For sure. And then they took the chicken, the, the chicken pane, pane off the twenty hey, and put it on the twenty five. I say it like this, uh, cause I've been, I've been in a relationship, been married. Well, I'm married. I said been married. Shut up. I'm married. But like, you gotta have that balance. You go to the little chilies, and then you go to some high end shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So. I don't know. I think social media got people fucked up. They do, hell yeah. Cause That's they think that is. if you go on, if you take your girl to Red Lobster, like, oh, this nigga broke. Nigga, Red Lobster good. I like that shit. She like this over here. And yeah, it's and, all about a preference. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So can you fuck with a nigga who in the industry? Like heavy? Like both y'all doing the same shit? I think I can. I think that might actually help us because lately fucking with dudes who ain't got much motion mm -hmm. and, and I mean that like as far as like bookings and traveling and all that moving around like I do, like they they get insecure. Yeah. They you know, they need to be just as busy as me. Mm -hmm. They need to have something going on, something. Have you ever fucked up on a relationship that you look back on like, damn, I did the Mario dirty. Um <laughs> I wouldn't say it was a, a relationship, but it was a good friendship. For sure, for sure. And um, and I I I flipped the car, caused him to lose his hand. God damn! And, what the um, fuck? But to this day, he's thriving. Even though he came to court to me and wrote a statement on me, he's doing songs with GT, <laughs> and he's doing um songs with your favorite rappers Man. that know that he wrote the statement, but they still want to do songs with him. Yeah. Well, so you, lost you, a hand you in tell bitch. me. I'll be a little upset. <laughs> you tell me, but I feel bad because like great bodily harm, less than murder, or sure. just as about the same as murder. <laughs> um, you know he didn't really deserve it. No, uh, Eastside, tell me where you where you uh where you grew up mostly, like where your where your hood at. I ain't, I I. I I guess I claim Cooper and Warren for the most part. That's why I do a lot of my growing up at. Okay, okay, okay. Well, First I got mean, a little piece of bully on Cooper and Warren. Ah, shit. so that count. That yeah, count. That's like, Damn, that's like, where I'm from. <laughs> shit. Where your, where your hood at? Which um, one you claim the most and shit? Van Dyke. Oh, Van Dyke? Oh, yeah. See, I used to go to Bustle and shit. Yeah, I, I, I claim Van Dyke because that was always the family manner. For sure. Like, if we had to move back in mm -hmm. for a couple months to stack up for security policy, yeah. shit like that, we'd do that. Shit like that. It was my it was my grandma's mom's house yeah. and my auntie, my great aunt, which was her sister, lived above her because it was a family flat. Two family flat. Yeah, yeah you Pressler two families, and Van Dyke. What's yeah, up? Yeah. They know the vibes. Yeah, you know, yeah. Maxwell, all that. Oh, yeah, um, you so, in the hood. You right by yeah, yeah. I was on Van Dyke Kirchival. Yeah, I'm Van Dyke Harper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Van right Dyke Harper. Yeah, yeah. So, so, you know, um, but that's always... That's always my home. Like for that's sure. how I feel. For sure. What high school you attended? If you, you know, you you don't want, don't want nobody. To well, know I attended Caucasian high school. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I went to I went to Gross Point North for two years and they kicked me out. Yeah, they I did out. go to Oak. Oh my bad. No, go sorry. ahead. Go ahead. I'm here for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I I did go to Oak Park. Um, yeah. on Mendota. Yeah, 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 yeah. I went there for a little bit. And, um, this was like in tenth or eleventh. Yeah. And my as soon as I walk in the door, it was just, it was different because yeah. I was going to all these white schools, these college prep schools, yeah. and I walked in there because I had to go there for a little for bit. Sure. And um, everybody wanted me to sit with them. Everybody wanted to be my friend. It was, yeah. it was, it was a different vibe. Yeah, 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 it was yeah. like, I was like, okay, I like this shit. Then the sure. fights and all that type of shit. Yeah. It was hyper. No, it was super different because like, okay. when I went to my other white school, it was a ninth or tenth grade. 
And then they kicked me out because I moved to Detroit and then I went to South Eastern. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, it's a whole lot. It's different like a motherfucker, this boy. This ghetto. <laughs> I, was, I was like, low-key happy a little bit because I'm seeing but black yeah, girls again. But yeah, I'm with my people. Yeah, like, like, I'm, I'm seeing girls. Like, she got big booty and shit. Like, all that good shit. You feel me? And then the schools I was going to, it was unattractive to be thick. Like, yeah. they only wanted slim, <laughs> Shit, what school you girls. went to? We, we love that shit. <laughs> Bro, it was up until I got in um, ninth or tenth, um, yeah. ninth, ninth grade, um, when I noticed that, like, okay, I can be thick. For sure, like, yeah, they, yeah. they like me. Yeah. Like, Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but shit. But so do you all right, let me ask you this then and we get to the music. I just wanna know, like so somebody like yourself, of course, you know what I'm saying, you got body, you you, you thick and stuff. Do you feel like girls be getting their body done just cause they be on social media so much and they see the girls that they wanna be like, like, damn, I gotta get the attention by go ahead and get my ass done, get my titties done, right. get my motherfucking cheeks high and shit like you know what I'm saying? What you think be a cause of motherfucking so many women like trying to go out or go after these bodies that they ain't you know what I'm saying, wasn't born with? Like you said, you said you was you realized you was thick 10, 11, 12 years old. Mm. Motherfucker, 10, 11, 12, motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Man. So what, what you think be a girl's uh. mind would be like, I got to get this shit. Do you think it's because they want that attention on social media? I think either or. I think it's, um, it's even for them as women, you know, because there's so much criticism on us and mm -hmm. so much light on us. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it could even be for them within or it could be the men mm -hmm. that's, that's forcing us to make women feel like that they Mr. need Kate to have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, because, I mean, if men was going around gloating and rapping about flat asses yeah. and, um, you know, eyebrows and, sure. you feel me, bitches wouldn't get that stuff. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. you know, it's, it, you know, it, they say that, you know, you came from a woman, you returned to a woman. Mm -hmm. But it seemed like lately the men have been having a lot of um, input on how the women yeah. supposed to... Um, you know, go about life For and sure. carry themselves. Like, men judge us so much. See, but then, see, I, you, you go through that dumb shit when you young. Like, when I was young in middle school, like, I want light-skinned girl, this, that, and third. You know? When you get older, you be like, you, you want somebody you can vibe with. Of course, you want somebody that look attractive, but mm -hmm. sometimes if you come off as a dope person, they gonna bypass all that other yeah. shit. Like, oh, man, he, she, they dope. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why when you see a dude, you be like, what you doing with this ugly girl? Yeah. And they but don't I never, explain. I, and see, that's something oh. I never, ever even... Or they hiding her. I, you yeah. feel see, me? that's one thing I never judge a nigga on who they fuck with. That's what he like. Is she ugly? She I mean, ugly. that's... She's got she ugly woman. She got some good ass head. <laughs> she can suck a dick. I mean, I hope so. Shit. <laughs> but my thing is, I just never... Hey, that's you. That's you. Now, the only person I'd be like, my son, like, dog, come on, you do a little better than that, son. So if your son came with an ugly uh, girl... <laughs> I, I'm son... Gotta do a little I mean, what's what's ugly? I mean, that if that's where the question come in, what's ugly, father? Yeah, what exactly. Yeah. Like, Dad, but what's ugly? I was kind of I was impressed because my son he's fifteen, <laughs> he about to be sixteen in December, so um you know what I'm saying he, my son like a normal he, he a normal kid he ain't like one of them kids trying to grow up too quick so mm -hmm. he he got a little girlfriend and stuff I'm like let me see how she look man mm -hmm. show a picture I'm like oh shit man good job bro. you got you a cute little girl I can't say fine because she young right. you got you a cute little girl man you doing your thing and then the girl got both her parents in life so she's right. a good little girl she's like all right cool right. he go get dropped off over there eating pizza with my fucking dad right, right there you got a whole life yeah my like, bro don't try no crazy shit dad gonna kill you nigga hey nigga that's on you. that's on you yeah I'm gonna kill your ass too there fuck shit to come yeah like, like that nigga been in the gym nigga I'm a little nigga dog yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's real. No, that's for sure, real. for sure. So when a nigga got a girl, like, hey, that's them. Like, shit, they, they doing their thing. Yeah. Ugly, fine, nigga, shit. That's what we love and shit. Yeah, I noticed that when, um... I never my, judge my niggas. Like, I don't give a Look, fuck. I don't judge my, um, my exes. Like, I used to be so mad at them Oh, for yeah, that's ugly, one shit. Yeah. Why do y'all feel like that? I, I, honestly, I'm just not realizing. Uh, it took me a couple years, uh, but uh, I'm just not realizing that looks do not matter. Yeah. And when people be like, "Oh, I said you should turn over," I said you should feel like I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. Like, look, this shit is only gonna last for so long. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And this shit is not gonna matter in the long run. Yeah. So, and I've been cheated on by the most ugliest bitches. Mm -hmm. And that make you feel the type of way, like, what the fuck bitches. I'm doing, like? And it's it's not us. Yeah, yeah, yeah It's yeah. not us. Men think with their dick. And for sure. For that's sure, it. that's, that's all a fact. It is. We, <laughs> think, we think with our mind. That's like the cheating. When a woman cheat on you, she invested. Mm. When a nigga cheat on you, he just like shit. Let me see how this shit. He feel. might never fuck her again. Yeah, he like I'm knocking but down. But we cheating, we might y'all over. Back no, y'all over the relationship. Oh, we're over the relationship yeah. most likely, or we're half, half one foot in, one foot out. Yeah, that shit hurt too. It's a chance. That shit it can hurt. still work. If you find out your chick kissed a nigga, that shit hurt. Man, that shit hurt, nigga. I, I have a nigga ever cry for you. 
Of course. Because <laughs> I fake course. cry, I keep a chick like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no. Ten head around, shit like. Get the fake cry. Oh. But then she don't, she don't do shit like, damn, I'm over here looking like a damn dumb. Oh, ass. my God. Look like a cornball right? over here. That. Fake crying and she ain't even touching the I done did that before. Oh, shit. Fake crying. I done did. Yes. And then if they don't. Imagine fake crying for a nigga you don't even want to keep for real. And he don't even give a fuck. <laughs> like that shit hurt. Then you really cry. I'm <laughs> like, not gonna lie. <laughs> that happens to me. <laughs> that shit turned from fake to real. Like this nigga really don't give a fuck about me. Really don't give. <laughs> I'm the catch. Like, <laughs> oh no, for sure. You fucking jackass. We over here crying. Shit like this. Like this motherfucker touch me, nigga. Nothing. Your value go down to a person they self. Um, <laughs> you know, you could be the most beautiful as woman. You could be the most handsome man with good dick, all that, right? Yeah. Good money, all that. Your value could go down throughout the relationship, and a woman could not even see you for your worth no more. For sure. And I noticed that when, when, when you know, when I was going through my things, and I'm like, damn, you don't, you don't care about losing me. Yeah. You the baddest bitch. Yeah, yeah, you hurt. Yeah, your ego for the like, yeah. damn me. And I'm clean, can cook, and can suck a dick. Like, what yeah. is wrong with you? <laughs> you need like, that on your head. It was just like, what's wrong with you? I do Man. that one sound, yeah. and you know you love that sound. Oh shit, come on, cuz. Like, come on. <laughs> Uh, that shit make you feel me. good, nigga. Shit. Mm. <laughs> mm. See, you the type of person you, you want your man to eat your ass? Oh my goodness! I just want to know, like you say, you, you talk uh. crazy. So I just want to know because I, I I ain't eat my first ass till I got married. Shit, I was about you, you know, know the that, random ass. That's I woke up this morning like, damn, I really could use my ass ate. Like I'm not even crack, cracking jokes with you, and I always put down eating ass all these years. And, uh. Um, it's because I think I got my ass ate too early. <laughs> I think that's a thing. I think you can get your ass ate too early before you then got walked into that freakiness. So it was like at first it just felt oh, so shit. nasty, like a wet tongue. <laughs> you know damn well you don't want nothing wet between your cheeks. Well, I Let, don't. You know, <laughs> like you know when it's summer you sweat a little bit between cheeks. Come on, you don't even like that feeling. So it was just one of them, and I was young. But then as I got older. Uh, that's funny. Hey, shout out to my dog, my dog Lambo. Man, he do the street interviews. I want to ask you this one question: What mm-hmm. you rather, what would you rather have from you from your dude, your your pussy or your or your ass? Aid, if you had to choose, my, my cooch. Okay, All right, I just want to know shit because I, you know what I'm saying. Just, I hate the word pussy. Yeah, I don't ever say that shit. I just say it's, it cr- it's cringy. Like yeah. I always felt like that since a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. What, what, what was I mean, what was what's the approach when you try to hit my ass when you're young? I don't remember that shit. Been so long since I. Didn't. <sighs> Like, damn. Um, honestly, it's even they'll play nonchalant. Yeah. Like they don't see you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or they'll they'll pick on you. Yeah, yeah for you, sure. Right? Yeah, yeah. Speak on this. We go. I keep saying we go get to music, but shit, she's so interesting in talking to me, <laughs> shit, man. But um, uh, my 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 dog was on the show. I ain't gonna name his name, man. I ain't gonna name the show name. I don't wanna give him that much love and shit. But uh, he was on their platform, and he had mentioned, you know, when you having sex and stuff, like you said the little you got big ass head, the little hitting and shit like that, whatever. It leads to motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, getting down to the nasty shit. Right. So he had brought up the shit that we all been through as men and women. A woman saying no, but they saying no, meaning yes. So, you know, it's a difference when you say no, like, no, I don't want you to take this pussy. No. That's no. Like, all right, I ain't touching that motherfucking pussy. But when you say no, like, it's like the little, the little long and the little R. Kelly no. Like, <laughs> it's like, you know that she really saying yeah. So do you feel like he was wrong for making that statement? Like, it's true, but you think in 2022, ladies will probably look at that shit like... I don't know. Everybody's so sensitive nowadays. I mean, super so, sensitive. You know, it's hard. But uh, at the same time, you would know. You would know. And it, it, it only y'all two would know. Yeah. And it'd be the body language. For sure. It'd be like, no, yeah. stop. Now, if you, just, you got plot them legs like, over, like, you got to put some strength into really it. if you really put yeah. come on, baby yeah. boy, stop. For sure. Hell yeah. Like, stop. Yeah, and to, they were saying, like, it might have, like... um triggered some women in the crowd who might have been a part of a... They shouldn't be listening to it. <laughs> you I'm, I'm sorry. Somebody need to speak up about all this, you know, censoring this and censoring that. Yeah. Like, we can't even be ourselves. We already got bodily functions that's not censored and all mm-hmm. types of weird shit goes on with the human regularly, right? So what the hell we look like putting a camera in front of us and censoring what we do or typing on a social media network on an app? I couldn't even say I'm whooping the little boy yesterday. Yeah. I lost my privilege to comment on, on lives. It's, it exactly. pissed me off because I said I would whoop his ass. That little boy that had them Doritos yeah. and kept pouring them with a the straight face. I would have. I just want to go through the phone and, and did he, like fuck him up. Like, bro. Man. But it's like, 
like the world's so sensitive. It is. It and, is. And, and, and where is this same compassion for us, yeah. for the black folks? For sure, no, for sure. Like, let's be real. Y'all got all this compassion for this this LGE, yeah, and no, y'all got for compassion sure. for 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 this mother who who lactates in public. Yeah. But but y'all don't got compassion for me that was born with the skin and my ancestors, my ancestors, my ancestors. Yeah. And I was, for sure, no. You know, and, and, and it's way. taking away from creativity because you gotta be so mindful and careful what so you say. Gotta be so mindful with music, comedy, yes. acting, like. And then it's like if um I, I don't know how true this is, but this show called The Shy, mm -hmm. they said one dude got killed off because he didn't want to be uh dating a transgender on the mm -hmm. next season. I feel him though. So it's Come like, on. no, I should have the right to be like, I don't want to fuck with that. I'm tired of turning on a new show and it's always opening with some type of, you know, mm -hmm. let's be real. They like, deep diving that shit. Like it ain't a show until you show that shit. Uh, like nigga, they, oh it's a show now. Nah. Like no, nigga, it's a show now. Nah. Craig on Craig. Like damn. Cause. Like you know, I have nothing whatsoever against it, and you gotta keep saying that because you don't want yeah, them nah, to come nigga, attack my, you. My fucking favorite uncle um, nigga was a super fruit. But like, you know, <laughs> like like some of my best friends, is, you know. So it's like I'm nowhere near yeah. judgy at all. But come yeah. on, do we gotta have it on TV? Exactly. And then like I said, I don't even want my son. My, I got a six year old, I got a month with two year old daughter. I don't even want them seeing like regular sex on TV, let alone two of the same shit because they, they mind ain't even got to if they like women or men or what. But now you kind of like force feeding and you shit. So they're like, them, yeah. they're like, oh, it's cool if you like men or women. Yeah. Like, no, dog. no Come on, no. bro. Just entertainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want grandkids, Just, dog. Yeah. <laughs> like, for sure, I do. I really do. I can't lie and say I don't. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? I want to be an old man playing with my grandkids and shit. I feel you. I want to be an old man you bringing Craig to a motherfucking Thanksgiving like, damn. But he got but he got them three other little mixed kids that came from another family. <laughs> Man, it's fucked up out here, man. I mean, hey, shout out to y'all. Hey, like I said, I love y'all. Me and my mom, her uncle, which is my great uncle, they used to throw little uh little dinners and shit. They was they was gay dudes. They used to have their gay friends coming over. But I knew my uncle boyfriend could cook his ass off. So I used to go with my mom over there, nigga, chill, listen to good music, eat, and go home. Right. Nigga, I wasn't nigga. What I, goes on in the bedroom? Yeah, I not like matter. I like women, so nigga, I don't give a fuck about what y'all niggas doing. That's the thing. Like niggas to me, niggas who scared to be around people that's gay, I, they got a little bit of Questioning with the nigga, yeah. so because I me, mean, I don't give a fuck, nigga. It could be a room full of dudes who like dudes, like nigga. Shit, I'm over here. I love my women, mm -hmm. nigga. Y'all love whoever y'all love. I don't give mm -hmm. a fuck, nigga. I can still be around y'all, niggas. No, I'll be as a side. I just feel like what you do in the bedroom is what you do in the bedroom. For sure, for sure. Yeah, you, you ever thought about having a podcast? Yeah. Why you? I, doing it? Everybody kind of tell me. I say you got like the personality for, for that shit. Cause um, even when I saw you on the um, Fat Nasty shit Yeah I felt like that Detroit came out Like you took over that shit As far as like It seemed like it was about you Like everybody else That was cool No okay Now that you said man, that man. They wanted me to come back Yeah um, Because that wasn't my top That wasn't my crap Exactly They 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 kind of messed up my podcast Okay yeah 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 Because yeah, yeah. they wasn't live For sure They were uh, You know Yeah I mean, yeah yeah just, Like the one dude I don't know he, cool. he, was, he was too cool It was, was that cool. one dude That was Damn, talking Damn he was too cool me. It was only one dude on there That, that was talking with me Yeah the one dude next to you Yep over here Yep it was only one dude that actually had a personality. Exactly. And that's really what it is. And yeah, that was the wrong show. And it's hard to bring people on. on as a collective. They don't know each other. And then you got one person that's killing the show. So I might turn that bitch off just because he ain't talking. Thank you. You feel me? So it's like, because you was live. My man was live. Oh, girl. Oh, they kept bringing up Detroit and all yeah, that. Like, like, yeah. niggas, niggas be knowing, dog, when we in the motherfucking house, dog. The like, girl was straight, too. Yeah, she was straight. Girl. I disagree with her, what she, she said. She do credit or something. Yeah, I, think, I disagree yeah. when she said that if she fucking with a dude, when she bring a woman to the table. I be mad about that shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like niggas talk about that threesome shit. Like it's cool to do that shit as a single man, but when you're in a relationship, I'm good. You have to have, you have to be respectful. I'm good. Like nigga, you ain't about to fuck her. Then I'm over here at work. And then no, it's because then I'm like fuck it. I'm gonna fuck other chicks. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna iffy. do. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> what I'm iffy. Like, did you see that meme? Um, that real when um when you bring her home for a threesome, you wake up. You wake up to them fucking, yeah. and she was like, <laughs> "Big bad." I can't do it. I'm so mad. I'm not gonna lie. I like, can't, what I if can't I fall it. asleep after we fuck, and then and I wake up to y'all fucking because yeah, yeah. he didn't got horny sleeping next to a new bitch or something? Yeah. I don't know. No, I'm good. I'm just good on that. That's some shit. I believe like it's more, it's more likely to happen if you're single. And you're, when you're in a relationship, it might start off cool, but then somebody gonna get judged at some point. Unless y'all doing polygamy. Yeah, for sure. But I ain't down with that shit. I ain't sharing that one. Polygamy. <laughs> now, uh, let's get to the music finally and shit though. <laughs> When you uh, at what point did you want to take this rap shit serious? Cause I, you know, what I'm saying I, I um, I, I followed you. I think I started noticing your music like maybe like a year or two ago. I know you was on payroll uh shit. You was on the hook on his song and shit. Payroll, shout out to payroll dog, dope ass nigga. Probably one of the best niggas in the city as far as rapping. Period. But uh, yeah, when um, when that shit come into 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 the situation that you wanted to be a rapper and shit. Well, um, like I said, I was doing it back when I was like 12, 14. Mm -hmm. Then I, I my first time actually getting in the studio, I was sixteen. Okay. 
Um, however, um, you know, I didn't have kids. I'm a mother now at a young age. So um, I started taking that very serious. But I ended up pulling up on one of my old um, friends. And they were like, why don't you rap still? Mm -hmm. You like, damn. Man. I was like, damn, it just yeah. hit me. Yeah, they was like, sure. they're like, you was hard, you was hard. You need to start back doing that. Why don't you rap? Yeah. And I was like, damn. And I was like, what, 21, mm -hmm. 22? And I was like, you know what? So then I started writing, flipped around, went to the studio one time. I did Inbox mm -hmm. um, with Flatline over okay. here on Meringue. I did Inbox. And um, I did Inbox, shot the video. I'm like, oh, okay. That wasn't bad. Mm -hmm. So then I'm like, oh. I like this shit. That's really take off. So, sure, yeah. so I hit up hell of a, and that's when um he was my second studio. Okay. Second studio I went to. Okay. And I recorded facts and um freaky bitch. Yeah. And he ended up hopping on it. Yeah. He was like, he, he like you only got one verse. He like this shit hard. And as which fuck. one he hopped up on? He hopped on freaky bitch. Okay, okay, okay. He yeah, like that's yeah. my little freaky yeah, bitch. The yeah, only yeah, one yeah. you see with. Cause I'm I'm on that bitch talking just crazy. Um, ripping off my panties. I can already taste the dick. Like I'm just talking. It just come out my little ass mouth. And I wrote that bitch in less than 15 minutes mm -hmm. outside of this nigga um house studio. Yeah. But I ain't like the way it came out. So when I met hell of a, he said, come on, I got an hour. For for you for free come on let me for see sure. what you're working with because sure. you know it wasn't that many female rappers yeah, yeah, yeah you feel yeah, me yeah. back back 2016 2017 yeah, yeah. wasn't that many female rappers now it's too many god damn it's some trash ass motherfuckers you style. feel me do some hair so, you feel me <laughs> <That's some hair. laughs> oh, i'm sorry if you offend anybody but some of y'all need to stop there's mm. some niggas out here need to go ahead motherfucker mm. steal some Cuss cars shit. <laughs> build a house <laughs> the fuck um <laughs> Nah, for real. So, <laughs> so then anyway, he like he like you only got one person. I'm like yeah, he like man, this shit hard. I'm gonna hop on it. He hopped on it. Woo. So after that, that's when he gave me the challenge, and we went from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just it just made it more real. Like damn, I got the hottest producer. This went um for sure. first Hell day yeah. out blowing up. I got the hottest producer, blowing up. and then people in my family. People rapping my lyrics, it just yeah. felt good. For sure, and, hell yeah. Yes, yeah, so hell yeah. so I'm, was I'm in the way or fast your first video? My first video was, like was having... inbox. Okay, because in the way, like you was having but a good ass time. Like I felt like that was your in the way was my third video. Fax okay. was my second, but it dropped third. Okay, okay, yeah. So yeah, in the yeah, way yeah, dropped yeah. before um Cause uh, in, Fax. In the way you was it was snowing shit. I'm like, damn, she having a good time. She must be new. And, and I shit. did. <laughs> and look, I was fresh off the road. You see the Ohio place. Like I was just really feeling myself. Yeah. I had all this money on me. That's my auntie house I was at yeah, and, um, yeah. on my daddy's side and they was like there every yeah. step of the way at for first sure, for sure. you know I don't really see them that much now but yeah. um you know so 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 there was a lot of support over there for sure so I pulled up we got it together the snow it worked my mama in the video yeah, yeah, she looked dope. my yeah, mama yeah. in facts and uh, in, in a way yeah yeah I peep yeah yeah so at that time tell me you you fucking hell of a you saw he did with motherfucking T and shit. Mm -hmm. Did you feel like I'm about to blow up nigga tomorrow? Yes. Yeah, that's how I be like. But, but sure. I felt like that when I dropped inbox before I met him, and then when I met him, I'm like, oh, I'm really about to blow up for sure. So I really did feel like that, but then reality setting in. Yeah. So, but now, like I said, you you talked about a lot. You out here and shit. Do you feel like it's just my time? I'm a I'm a uh, my time coming. I don't know yeah. when, but it's coming. Yeah. And I know it's gonna come soon. Yeah. Um. Definitely. Um. I really feel like. Putting in his work is helping me, and honestly, I don't know if I wanted to blow back then. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I wanted to just. Yeah, cause you probably wasn't blow. ready. I wasn't ready. Yeah. Now I got so much more experience under my belt. Um, I can I can walk in there and own it. For sure. I can grab that crowd attention. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. come here, bitch. Yeah, yeah, I got no, your for heart, sure. nigga. And that, no, that's a fact though. Cause sometimes you you think you're ready for something, but you're not until. I wasn't. And then later on, you like, damn, I if I would got this shit back then, like I said that shit with with um. With interviews, some people who don't come, you you both came earlier. You don't know, but you both came earlier. earlier. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I was. We talked no, um, months yeah, ago or so. But I I feel like you coming now, it probably worked best. Same with G Mac. And they both came earlier, but I feel like I was a little bit more seasoned for right. to have more people who got like a bigger following. You got a good following and shit. So right. I want to make sure I'm on point when I had them motherfuckers on. You feel me? The, and, and all that can go into um, it can go into play for like people like Glow. Mm hmm. Glow. I mean, I don't know what she was doing before. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, as sure. far as like, was she booked as much as? Because I was. It was a point in time I was booked a lot. For sure. Like I was driving back forth to doing that ten hour drive, mm -hmm. sleepy as fuck, doing my hair in the car, mm -hmm. can't barely put on my lashes, running to the venue, yeah. getting getting my money by myself, leaving sure. out, driving back to Detroit or stopping in Texas. Yeah. I was doing it all alone, and this was bookings. Yeah. Like a lot of them was paid too. Mm -hmm. So it's like 
I was doing it all on my own. So I got that experience on my belt. So when I do get a team, when I do get some help, when I do get some security and some home girls that go with me, like it's going to be more natural. It's going to be easier. I could tell who to do what and where to go. For sure. You know? Yeah, um, yeah. So I don't know if she ever got that experience. So when she did come here and how they yeah, did it was her, bad. Yeah, it was bad. it's it kind of like, I'm like, damn, that, that wouldn't have been me. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Hell like, yeah. That wouldn't have been me because I'm going to get there. I'm going to get She blamed the security show. and shit. Like... And, then if, and if I do fuck up and not get there and it, it hurt my people feelings, yeah. my hard, hard die fans, I'm gonna go down there. I'm gonna come back. Go twerk on they boots. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave. Get them a show. Yeah, like she's I'm gonna have a fucking hell. ball, sure. and then I'm gonna dip. Yo, you yeah. feel me? And I learned yeah. that just by going to showcases, just by paying to go to these showcases, yeah. just by fucking up at these showcases. For sure. No, it, it takes that whatever. motherfucker. Yeah, it take that experience. Like I say, man, take it take that time to fucking up, seeing mm -hmm. what you need to do better, all that shit. Yeah. So when you ready and you get that shit, you yeah. already good to go. Yeah. You good to motherfucking go. Yeah, you right now, about that. I got some shit called talk about the bars. Okay. I, I, I picked something from what, what you said, and then, you know what I'm saying, we talk about it. Okay. So on last day here, you say, don't nobody want to help me if they can't fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> talk about that, like, do you get that a lot? Like, niggas, like, they want to fuck with you on the music tip, but they think that it might lead to, to fucking. I get it too much. I mm -hmm. get it too, too much. Um... Um, I, I get it too much, and that's obviously why I wrote it, and that's obviously why I did it, and that's why I said it, and I live by that now. Um, mm -hmm. so now I'm quick to offer money, or I'm quick to, you know, cut into a dude before they cut into me, and it's really That's about, right. look, I got the money. What you want? What you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah. of these niggas don't even want the money; they want the pussy. No, for, you on, feel me? Right now. <laughs> and, um, and like, 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 and people, people ask questions about the Dame Dot situation, mm -hmm. and people like him. I'm sorry, like, like, you did, you knew my fucking bars, you rapping my bars, mm -hmm. this was when Fake 2 first came out when me and him had our incident, because it went kind of viral around the city, yeah, you, you I was tell calling me him Freaky head. Bum, and I was calling him a pervert and rapist, but in reality, <laughs> he, he honestly do fit those categories, because a lot of women start reaching out to me in my DMs, like yeah. heartfelt messages, mm -hmm. a lot of women, For sure. known women and not known women in the city here, yeah. about how he, you know, forced, yeah. and, um, and my thing is like, you offer me money for sex, I say no. You offer me money for sex, I say no. Then you cut into me like, I just was up with that pussy. You know my lyrics. You're rapping my, um, I'm, I'm, I'm rapping same. Mm -hmm. This was same first came out. Everybody knew the fucking lyrics. He knew the lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. How the fuck you know my lyrics, bitch? You ain't post shit. You ain't nothing. But you want to ask for some pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, don't nobody want to help me if they can't fuck me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You for feel sure. me? Like for sure. it, it just comes with a whole line. Is that fucked up as a, as a, as a female uh, rapper and shit? Like I ask this question a lot. Like, is it hard being a rapper and when you're attractive and stuff like that and 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 trying to get all audience to take you serious and shit? It because, very is. because of that it definitely shit. is it definitely is and mainly because like we look at y'all we y'all fans for sure that don't mean our pussy wet yeah 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 seeing. because your lyrics yeah you yeah, feel I me fuck this nigga. you know yeah. and especially when I see the truth I know you really ain't got it like that yeah, you sleeping yeah. on people couches and you ain't even got a car yeah. so like let's think about that and I'm and I, I was I was nineteen with that shit already mm -hmm. put together mm -hmm. so um honestly I feel like. God shouldn't do that to women. Like we actually respect y'all sometimes. Like for sure. sometimes I ain't gonna say everybody, yeah, yeah, but you yeah, got some women that only probably do want to fuck for that verse. For sure, you yeah, feel yeah. me? They gonna get there. But a person like me, and it's a lot of women like me. Um, we really look up to you. Mm -hmm. You just killed my whole little spirit about how I yeah. looked at you. Not at and see, I, and that's why I say sometimes it's good not to meet the niggas you you, you should never meet. Them. Yeah, because you Man like, just said that Damn, shit. This nigga was. Him or she like that was dope as hell in my eyes. I met this my nigga. Eye. Motherfucker asshole. Pull your pussy out. <laughs> <laughs> Soon as he see you. Pull your pussy out. Pull your pussy out. You gonna pull your pussy out. Get out the dress. Like nigga, I've been watching yourself like, 12, no. nigga. God damn, R. <laughs> Kelly. Damn, dog. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Now that same song, cause this the this is song that I kinda like peep you and shit like damn, she cold she cold. I like the delivery, the flow, how your voice is, everything. So you say if I go back to my ex when my family judged me, niggas used to be my ass, but at least he loved me. Contemplating suicide, shit, I even tried it. Big cuts on my wrist, I can't even hide it. Yeah. I said that shit kinda sweet. I was like, I fucking rapper and shit, cuz. <laughs> but no, like a lot of women can relate to that because they go back to niggas. My mama shit. My mama used to talk shit about my dad, but to my grandma, and she look at him like he a no good nigga, but she fucking with my dad. You know what I'm saying? So and the, the whole suicide shit, like, like just talk about that. Was that something you really like you was going through some suicide thoughts and shit? Um, if yeah, you don't mind talking um, about 
If I go back to my ex, will my family judge yeah. me? Like, motherfuckers used to put down this nigga. Yeah. There's one nigga that really loved my stanky drawers. Like, <laughs> you feel me? I used to put him down. And then as soon as I start talking to him, here you go, you should just stay with him. Like, because yeah. now, you know, I know my worth. But however, yeah, he wasn't right for me. For I'm sure. glad I got the fuck on. Yeah. Um, but it's like the choices out here that was left wasn't right either. Yeah, you know? Yeah, so that's kind of sure. where that bar come in. Then the other part, contemplated, contemplated suicide, should I even try it? Shit, I did try it. Yeah. You know, I well, definitely did. I mean, I got the... Yeah, at what point, like, like what, 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 what led you to, to that? To that? Like, like, was her life hard? You like, what was going on? It was really more so, like, losing people. Yeah. This is when I first lost somebody that was close to me. Okay, okay. And I'm in a hospital giving birth and can't even go see their body. Damn. Be yeah, they died up. the same day. Yeah, that's so, fucked you know, up. Yeah, that's hard. So I don't even want to even hold my newborn one day old baby yeah, at this time. Not even one day. Yeah, because you're, you know, you're not even thinking right. Yeah, yeah. And all I could keep thinking is like, damn, maybe he held on to, for my baby to be born. My grandpa, that was yeah. I was really, really close to. For sure. So, you know, I was thinking maybe he held on so I had the baby because mm -hmm. he was there every pregnancy. And this is my yeah. last baby I had. Okay. So it's like, I ain't have a baby since. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like Cause I was popping them out I didn't think I was gonna stop Man. But, um, So you know I You know um, You know He he passed And my, my auntie Who was the youngest aunt yeah. Most beautifulest aunt Like Not to throw shade To anybody <laughs> On my other aunties She was just so beautiful Got this beauty up. mark Real beauty mark In the yeah, top of her head yeah, With the yeah, long yeah. ass black hair She looked at Chinese Chinky with, yeah, the, sure. with the beautiful skin You know She was just beautiful Smart yeah. woman You know And yeah. she died Stage 4 cancer Out of nowhere She didn't even tell us She had it yeah. And she just died So it was like Out of the blue yeah. So it, it hit me yeah. And then you know I just left Vegas With my baby daddy The dude I was talking about If I go back to my My family love me yeah. Um I just came back from Vegas and I ended up living in a shelter. Okay. Um, when I came back to Vegas, I'm not about to be no statistic. I got three kids. I'm only 21, For 20, sure. 21. Yeah. Well, 21 with mm -hmm. three kids. You feel me? I ain't about to be no statistic. Sure. I'm about to take care of these babies. Like, yeah, that's always been embarrassment, always yeah. been my motivation, if that okay. makes sense. Yeah, no, I get you. Yeah, I yeah. didn't want to be embarrassed. Yeah, you don't be a person with young kids ain't doing shit. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, and yeah. my mama had me at what, 14, 15. Yeah. So I didn't want to be a statistic that I was just going to be like her. You know, I was told that my whole life by, yeah. by my grandma, kids. So that I lived with mm -hmm. that I was gonna be like my mama. So it's like it's like fear and embarrassment motivated me and made for me for sure it will do more. it will. And we say that shit like with your with your uh, with your with your granddad passing like that's mm -hmm. how I felt like my mom passed away. So like but I'm glad she got to experience being a grandmother. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause she passed See? my oldest son, he about to be sixteen at the time he was fucking five. Right. So nigga, he still remember those years of being with her. Like he he know about her making pancakes, nigga, taking her him to preschool, got work midnights and shit like that. So Mm -hmm. Just for me to be a bless her to be a grandma before she left this bitch, I felt like nigga, all right, bet. But then when you got kids, like you got kids, I got right. kids, you can use that as motivation to be a, a better parent because you can right. use them like, all right, I gotta get over this this shit because it's fucked up my mom died, it's fucked up your granddad mm -hmm. died, but you still got kids you gotta look out yeah. after. Yeah, yeah, and, and honestly, that's like when, when people try me, mm -hmm. that's when the crazy part come out because like. You know, like, yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. Like the fact that I probably wasn't supposed to be here still. Yeah, yeah. don't play with me. I no, for sure. Here. Hell yeah. Like, so I got this song where I'm like, I'm, I'm like, um, 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 don't worry about my peace. Don't worry about my. Hold on, what I say? I said, I said, don't worry about my peace. I already said mine. Yeah. Oh, I hope you got your peace, cause nigga, I said mine. Yeah. When I say that in deadline. I mean, like, nigga, I've been left for this bitch. Hell bitch. Yeah. Like, don't play yeah, with me. Like, yeah, and shit. that's when the crazy part of me come in, which I'm trying to control now because I just did it on on, on Van Dyke and, and grass shit. I got lick, locked out of the liquor store. God damn. Because I don't go to my gun. But, um, <laughs> um, dude just cut into me. Like, I'm leaving a photo shoot. My ass is out. But, like, yeah. you don't got, you know, I'm leaving a photo shoot. Like, it's just what I, I'm doing. Like, yeah. this is my life. Yeah. Don't be in my life. Like, yeah. and then it just got too much the way he did me. But that, was, that was recently when you was on the bridge. Like, and a couple shit. days ago. Yeah, yeah I saw yeah. that shit. Goddamn, yeah. girl. Goddamn. <laughs> so, so like um and, and this when this is why the crazy part of isis come out and people don't understand her because like she really like lived like she was she 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 living on borrowed time yeah for sure yeah so yeah, like yeah. i don't cherish certain shit as much sure. as other people if yeah that makes sense. no i, I get know. you i get and you i'm quick to fucking get like yeah only, the only thing I say, don't let that shit drive you. You know what I'm saying? You got kids in the day, so don't let that That's shit take you over thing. there. That's the yeah. only thing I got kids. Yeah, because cause then some people could be like, oh, shit, she did that, got kids, you selfish. You know what I'm saying? But like, I think, I, see, and, and they can say that, my kids, like, older. Yeah, for sure. So how long can they say that? Yeah, You yeah, feel yeah. me? 
Yeah, My kids yeah. older. They got the best years yeah. out of their mothers. Well, make so sure far. we keep big ice in this motherfucker, man. You gotta get, get, I mean, I'm not saying it like I'm not just going to yeah. have But I can be on Demon Time. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, it. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I could just be on Demon Time. Now, uh, Wake and Shake, you said, remember days I just needed to cry. Freeze dress Fridays, I couldn't even get fly. I couldn't. It was only a dollar. Man. And, and whether I had the dollar or not, that didn't matter. It's like, what's the point? Yeah. So, like... Like, I ain't, I ain't gonna cap. My grandma raised me. I ain't had the most nicest things. What's up? No, you we know? all go through that shit. No, good for the boxes. Niggas, we know about good for the boxes. Definitely good for the boxes. That's why I, li- I, mean, I listen to songs like that and still bring up good for the boxes. Hell yeah. God damn. So, Them Cosby sweaters in that bitch, nigga. I had the rustlers, nigga. Look, this is how they used to do us. Because I, I, I could tell... Free Dress Fridays. We we some years apart. I'm 36, so... You feel me? So, look. I'm look, old nigga shit. Look, 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 check this out. These motherfuckers, when we come home from school, they'll be hiding the Goodfella boxes. <laughs> oh, duh, so, so when we come home, they'll open up the door and be like, surprise! Like, yeah. and it, it, honestly, yeah. with us not knowing, for we sure. was excited. Yeah, it's Christmas. Shit. Like, it was Christmas. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, and my grandma was job witness at that. So, yeah. you know, that's all we would get. Yeah. You know, so... It, it, that's a big part. You just made me think about that. I got to use that nine because it, yeah, really, yeah, it was really, it was really like, like uh, the happiest moments. No, for sure. Year. But you don't know that until you get older. Like, damn, we were fucked up, but you was happy. Yeah. Like, my, I remember, like I said, I said this shit on countless interviews. I remember on Saturday nights, my mom making sugar toast. Mm-hmm. And I'm oh like, dog, goodness. this is just the motherfucking good ass night. Like, yeah, yes. we eat sugar toast. Yeah. We a family. My mom, sugar my dad. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We in that bitch playing cards, and that was everything. Even though we were broke as fuck, that those moments was everything yeah. because we got to spend quality time as a family. Yeah, you my my, my grandma had this thing like if if any of the kids get into it, she'll put them in a corner yeah. in the front room, For and sure. all the other kids will watch. Yeah, that's not in part of the fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The two kids that that got a fight gets in the corner yeah. and they dance till they get to the middle. They do any type of dance, <laughs> and then when they get to the middle, they fight because because yeah. we say fight. And yeah. then they fight. Yeah. And shit let them get it over with. For sure. But they gotta dance first to yeah. the middle until they meet each other. So y'all that bitch entertaining the motherfucking yeah. dog. Or or a capping session. Yeah. Or a capping session. Yeah. That's the only way to handle our shit. Yeah, but that those, those days back then, those was good days and shit, yeah, dog. You, it made you yeah. who you are when you when you get older. Yeah, for good or for that's bad. That's crazy. It, yeah. it, it shaped your life out and shit, dog. Mm-hmm. So last one I'm a I'm gonna say just be, but you kind of touched on it a little bit on last day here. It was a lot of motherfucking shit that you can bring from that song. That was a hard ass song. Mm-hmm. It says bitches with more than me still hating Ooh. on me. Like and that shit like, we kind of touched on that shit like niggas, niggas niggas will have more but be mad because you trying to get your life right. Like how do you how is you in a better position than me? Yeah. And you hating on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like and, and that goes for these local Artists, females as well. Like, bitch, you don't got not a kid that came out your little pussy, <laughs> bitch. And and then you got the audacity to have been rapping twenty years before I came to the game, which might be the same age as me. But bitch, you what the fuck you hating on me for? You know what? I'm Let glad. Real, I'm ho. glad you said that shit. What what be a problem with Detroit? Uh, 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 women that rap like they don't work together. You know, what I'm saying you did something with payroll, you did something with hell of a like, but you never see a, a, a female rapper feature another female rapper from the city. What you think that's like? What, what I just learned, I just found out that all the female rappers that I encountered, because I used to, I guess I was gullible. I was very gullible. Yeah. And, and, you know, starting off going to these showcases, happy, excited. Like, I was, that was my life. It was real. Nothing was fake. Everything was organic. So I was very gullible, and I took, like, I took, I took the, um, the hugs as embracement. Mm-hmm. But in reality, no. These bitches Hate wanted to, it. no, they wanted to eat my pussy. <laughs> And I didn't catch none of the signs. <laughs> and, and and now I'm the fucking bad guy. Now the bitch hate me to this day. Man. Or bitches. Multiple bitches. You too, bitch. Man. And these hoes, now they hate me to this day because Damn. I didn't see the signs. I didn't know. Yeah, for sure. For I might have sure. just let you lick it. Yeah, a little now bit. Now you want to beat my ass because you can't eat my ass? Duh. You want to beat me because you can't eat me? <laughs> I and think about saying hate that shit. I really fuck. remember now. Man. They just as worse as the nigga. That's what <laughs> happened when you come on the show, man. I bring back memories and shit, man. Get you, you know what I'm saying? Damn. Oh, no. I was searching because I was, you know, when I do my research and shit, that's how I found out you was on my man and shit in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. You have, and nobody ain't um, fucking reached out to you doing no podcast here? Oh, yeah, a lot of people. Okay. I just pretty much, because I don't know what people are just be. I don't, yeah. look, I, take my, look. I ain't gonna lie, I doubt you. That's why, that's why I, I, I even. <laughs> I doubt you. I'm like, all right. 
I told my, my uncle, this is my uncle, I said, the producer, I'm like, well, I got her number. I, I think she's going to come. Mm. And I'm like, no, she And not. I feel so bad because you, you wasn't the only person. It yeah. was you and another person that, that same week. Yeah. And I ain't going to lie. And I just had this, like, the little moment in my little life that I just ghost everybody and yeah. don't even open my phone. Well, she, she came to the right for the show and shit, man. But I mean, but it's okay. But not also real shit. I do be having to watch, watch shit like that nowadays because yeah. a lot of people secretly hate me. And, yeah. And... No, see, I ain't gonna hate nobody for that shit. I'll be like, damn. Right. I, I get back to it. I knew you'd come back on eventually. Oh no, I ain't talking about like you. But I'm oh. just saying, like, as far as just going to no, podcasts, for sure. pulling up, and that's why I bring somebody or I bring my shit no. or you, you know. You should always do it, like especially location. like you, you're a lady. You should be, you know, say be yeah, prepared. I'm a nigga. You never know shit. You never know a nigga agenda and shit. So yeah, but I mean, the old me used to be like, get up and go. Yeah, ah, I'm, for a, sure. I'm gonna be a rapper. I'm about to make it. Yeah, the old me just used to be just out here, just not even thinking. What What's some shit you hate about this rap shit? That you gotta deal with besides the whole ass niggas and shit. I knew about say whole ass niggas probably. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, the way people look at you and and, and make up their own scenario about you mm-hmm. and what they think of you. Yeah, for sure. And people lying on you. Yeah, like, they like, do that. all type of stuff. Like my auntie ex or boyfriend slash baby daddy, stuff like that. Like he didn't say that he he had sex with me. Yeah. I, it got to the point where I called him on speaker and called oh, the dude that said it and put it all on the floor. Like, don't play with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, why would you do that for clout? For sure, for sure. Or, or to be embraced by your hood yeah, or something. Yeah. Like, and if that's what gets you embraced, you know, yeah, come on, sure. that's even worse of a problem. Hell yeah. Worse what's, some, problem. what's some young nigga shit versus some shit I've been through? When I say that shit, young nigga shit, shot at 17, I'll never eat no pussy. Shot at mm-hmm. motherfucker the age I am now, 36, bring that shit here. <laughs> That's young nigga shit versus some shit. I've been, I've been through. He told me at a young age you gonna be eating pussy. I said no, I'm not. I got older. You was right. I'm even eating ass. You been now. eating ass. <laughs> That's I'm even eating ass now. My wife ass. Like, hey, look, so, now course, I'm not eating random course, ass. Of course, of course. Ain't no way. Hey, no random um, ass. Hey, hey. Hey, my nigga cheese said I was gonna do that shit. I said no, I ain't. It was the pandemic fault though. We was at home bored and shit. We had nothing to do. So I'm like, let me try something new. Pandemic. <laughs> What's, it ain't gonna be nasty. It could be, but there's some young nigga shit that you was thinking at a young age that you don't agree with now as a as an older ice ISIS. Uh, I was raised with my auntie, mm-hmm. kind of Alicia. Shout out to Bugetto. Shout out. She took me out on some runs mm-hmm. when I was young, and okay. that I really probably shouldn't have been out on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She used to try to put me up on money and dues. and um, I was just kind of like, Ugh, like no, and Ugh, yeah. and, and like give me back to my broke boyfriend. You feel me? <laughs> Like, but oh, now the older I became, I see what she was trying to, trying to teach me. She yeah. probably didn't do a good job. For sure, for sure. But, um, so now I feel like, yes, let me sit back. Let me look at your finances. Let me look how far you came. Let me, now let me look yeah. at that. And and yeah. I ain't mean on no gold digger type shit, but if you want to call it that, it could be that. Because yeah. I really been the breadwinner yeah. my whole but life. But that's important because as I got older, I didn't know shit about good I'm credit. Tired. I didn't know nothing about that shit like, you know what I'm saying, uh, being, uh, you know what I'm saying, stock, there's different shit. Right. When you young, you don't, that's some, some young nigga shit. I didn't know about like credit. Like I'm like, what the fuck credit, nigga? But when you get older, shit, credit is worth more than having a million dollars in your pocket. Yeah, that's what they say. You got that credit, you get everything, you get that, they, I'm they still want working you. on both. So shit, yeah. you. My shit, my girl's so bad, they didn't give me a number. I ain't gonna lie. Now, I had, <laughs> now this one thing I took pride in, and at like 2021, I had amazing credit. For sure, for sure. Like, car notes was paid up to the T when I did finally get one. Mm-hmm. Like, I was just, a, I was an amazing woman overall. Mm-hmm. I, I am an amazing woman. Oh, for Still, sure. you know, I done matured more now um, and probably messed up along the way. No, we all But, do. like, I had that in me already. Like, yeah. I knew... That's why, that's my value. That's yeah. why I hold my value so high. You got I hold shit. my value so high because I am the shit, yeah, y'all. You gotta, you gotta feel that I'm way. the motherfucking shit. And I don't mean all this ass yeah. or these thighs <laughs> or this pretty ass face or this lace or this, you know, no. <laughs> I mean, like, the inside, I'm really amazing as a woman and What's I ain't up? give up yet, y'all. You can't, though. You can't, I ain't shit. Give up. You, the moment you give up, shit, them niggas ain't won. Man. Everybody else who motherfucking dodge your ass, they won and shit, dog. So, Fuckers. Hell yeah, shit. Fuck the niggas, man. <laughs> them niggas that gave up on me, dog. Damn. God damn. God damn. <laughs> what you ever feel like you need to move out this bitch to get to get you? Hell yeah. Cause you said you didn't say Atlanta, you, shit like that, like I feel even more now. That's crazy that you said that. Shy. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, because look, on some real shit. I don't know. A lot of people noticed me moving around earlier this year a lot. Mm-hmm. Like to where whenever I seen it, when I came back in town for like a couple of days or a week, they like, damn, I see you never here. They they said it. 
but what they don't know is that I'm I'm getting love all the time. For sure, hell yeah. Like urban shout out to urban politician. Okay. Urban urban politics, urban politics. Who was that? Tell me about Big huh? Ant. Okay. In Texas. Okay, like okay, when okay. I was down there, he got all these fucking views on my little short little talk I had at the um South by Southwest, like mm -hmm. a podcast. I For didn't sure. know he had this big ass platform. Yeah. And he told me this. And I was like, okay, I don't care what platform you For got, sure. big or small, I want I'ma still talk to you. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I gave him that energy. He mm -hmm. liked it that. Okay. But come to find out he really did yeah, have a big all ass this platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my, my little talk went so crazy. I think he got me about couple thousand followers yeah, yeah. See, I need boss like, they went and found my Instagram <laughs> sure, yeah. he ain't you know it wasn't like it was on Instagram yeah. it was on YouTube they okay. went and found my so Instagram went back and look. Yeah, yeah, yeah so he Who's got this? like his name everybody but he doing his thing big ant yeah, so however however you know mm. um Stuff like that, like like being appreciated outside mm. my city. So you feel you're not appreciated here in the, in, the, in Detroit? Like you should be? By mm -hmm. looks, I guess that's a hell no. Man. I don't. You, do you think it because of so many... It's so many because niggas come out the woodwork. Nah, shit, we eating. So I think it's a lot. I think a but lot of people... you've been doing shit for some years, so this ain't no... You woke up yesterday like I put I'm in work. work. Come yeah, on, bro. Yeah, yeah, for like sure. I really put in work. I put in I put in work. Yeah. So I really need people to see that and stop judging me because of where I'm at and they not. Yeah. Or or because the attention that I get from certain people and they don't. Yeah, yeah, or because I got the means to get up and go or means to go link up with them and them and them in this state. Mm -hmm. And they, I actually I'm appreciated. I'm for in sure. the rooms with dirt. Yeah, I'm yeah, you know, I'm not getting kicked out. Yeah. I'm you know, <laughs> shit like that. Like yeah. I think it's, it's it's a it's a very thin line between jealousy and um and actually being proud of somebody and mm -hmm. and people just keep crossing them and and don't judge me from what you see don't judge me for what you see come get your own taste or what yeah. you hear it's all good i'm proud you see her fuck you <laughs> that is not my name <laughs> So why do people? Why, why I gotta be a light skin nigga every time? <laughs> that that play you like this? Like what he think he doing right Man, now? The funny as hell, dog. What's what, what's some what's some shit? You, what's some <laughs> what's some shit? Last well, heart what's dropped. What's the like, <laughs> police shit? I'm about to run. Like I just felt I, like you about to change like this. got a motherfucking bug Sierra. on me. What's some what's some shit you would change on how your approach was with rapping shit? Like what's some shit you would you would change starting off? Starting off? Mm -hmm. Maybe some of you would did differently. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have talked to none of these people. Yeah. Sure. I would have just kept making. I would have been so untouchable. Yeah. Like to where they never seen me. So that's what you kind of doing now, like making yourself kind of like off yeah, the radar. Yeah, I'm very a bit. off the grid, but um, it, it like I said, it do get boring and lonely. But however, you know, lonely sure, that's okay shit, sometimes. You know. yeah. yeah, and it's, it's really people don't know how to come up come up to me and, and offer me a good time. Yeah, people sure. don't know how to provide a good time nowadays so yeah. you know so however i really feel like i wouldn't change much in the beginning because doing those showcases wanting it hungry mm -hmm. getting to know people going to anybody and everybody out on um album um release party, release party yeah, 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 yeah. or i was in the mix for sure, without knowing that i was in the and, mix. yeah you got to though. i didn't even know i was yeah. in the mix Shout out to my dog he like he be saying shit all the time like you I don't like being outside. Like, child, you gotta come outside, nigga. Out of mind, out of out of mind, out of sight. Yeah, out, yeah. Out so I, I hate that shit. Though. I, I <laughs> I'd rather be at the crib, mind. nigga. Shit, watching TV and shit, just chill with my fam. Like, I rather do that. I've been doing that lately. Yeah. And I'm realizing, like, oh, me would beat my ass. Right yeah, now. yeah. Like, what the fuck She'd you doing, like, good? And, and you got to where we we wanted to get to. Hell yeah, for sure. Like, Hell you yeah. actually get the the free promos and motherfuckers dropping off clothes yeah. and, and you getting all this you getting the free features you getting the free um man you getting the free videos like it's like sure. i ain't gonna lie that's all i used to think about when i first started yeah i used to be like oh i can't wait till people actually want to work with me yeah without having a motherfucking charge without, yeah, yeah without yeah. me begging them or, sure. or paying their price which they price they price you yeah. know i learned that but however um it mainly was like I wanted to be accepted into the rap game, mm -hmm. the Detroit rap game at a young age. For so. sure, for sure. It's gonna yeah. come though. That shit gonna come. You gotta be patient. Like I tell my my dog, shit gonna come. It gonna come fast or it gonna come slow, but that shit come eventually. I think not people purposely go out their way to try to um make me seem irrelevant. Yeah. You know. Shit, that's that means that you you shit, you on their radar. I did some doing, people. You, I checked their ass. Yeah, you doing that means you doing and something right. Them. You doing something right and shit though. So when we get to this last Towards the end, I don't want to keep you too long as shit. I don't want to hold you. We do a versus. I give you two category, categories. You tell me which one to win. Okay. All right. Tall dude versus short dude. Tall. Damn it. It's hard for us tall dudes. I mean, of course. Hold on. You talking about which one to win, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm saying which one you want. You want okay. tall dude, okay, come on. short okay, let's dude. Go. Let's go. You said tall? Yep, tall. 
All right. Just what's your preference? East side, west side. You like to kick it? East side, west side. West side. You from the east side, girl? <laughs> I, I like. It's to all go, good though. It's go, all good. Go, I live on west side. Make now. my I'm, stump. My grandma cooking or your mama cooking? Both. R R B versus rap. R and B. Usher versus R Kelly. Usher. All right. Neo versus Trey. <laughs> that was my R and B right there for your ass. <laughs> Neo versus Trey Songz. Trey. All right, Trey Songz. I think I heard somebody said that that nigga. If you think R Kelly fucked up, Trey worse. That's what I heard. I heard about that shit. <laughs> like, damn. That nigga yeah, I'm charged. But I never understood niggas like that. I ain't, I'm trying to get on top of it. But like, nigga, how you get, you get rich any, and then... No, but you can get any R. Kelly, Trey song, you get any chick you want. Why fuck it up, though, man? R. Kelly, why you getting these young bitches, dog? You good. You get and anybody you want, the dog. Heart, the cock wants what the cock wants. I guess right? so, dog. That's something. Like yeah, that. I guess so, dog. Free you. I mean, man. don't don't free you. I mean, Ooh. free you? I don't know. Your music was good, though. Shit, still Martin, playing. Yeah, we still listen to that shit, though. I ain't gonna lie. Martin versus Fresh Prince. Martin. All right. Everybody know Friday, the first Friday is a classic. But what's better between Friday 2 and Friday 3? Friday 2 and Friday 3? Yeah, which one better? I say shit, 2. Yeah, 2. Nick, you a hater. The third one is not I better I like it two. no more. Hell yeah, dog. Gracias. They, they, them niggas was funny as hell. Summertime gear versus fall gear. Oh, fall. Fall. All right. Now, we went, we was driving yesterday. We got bored. We just started driving. Which one fear you the most? Driving in hella rain or hella snow? Which Fuck. One? Damn, you made my anxiety come back. <laughs> Damn. Um, definitely got to be... Well, I can deal with the rain if I got good tires. Mm -hmm. yeah, snow, sure. either good or bad, you got, you yeah. got a big chance to slide. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, but yeah. yeah. I'm gonna, Shout I'm out to the hood rat tires and shit. My, my front tires are starting to be hood rats. Uh, <laughs> nightlife versus daylife. I'm I'm a daylife myself. Mm -hmm. I wish I could be a nightlife. Mm -hmm. Chilling with fam or chilling with friends? Chilling with fam. All right. Music today versus back in the day. Music back in the day. All right. All right. Give me your top three. Your top three celebrity childhood crush. So motherfuckers, you crushing Oh, my those. God. Childhood yeah. crush is like back embarrassing. Like, Hell uh, yeah, motherfucker. Who are you I used to be in love with Ja Rule. Ja Rule. I think all the chicks had Ja Rule, ja Rule though. What? Oh, she was like, hell no. I used to be in love I, with Ja Rule, like, <laughs> I, like. Ain't nothing wrong with that shit. I don't know what it like was, Rue, but though. outside of him, Lil Wayne. Oh, you okay. couldn't tell the me shit. Wayne, he made the, me rap. He made yeah. me want to rap. That was like, Lil Wayne with the dreads, the full Lil dreads. Wayne with the full dreads. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes, I had fifty pictures of him on my wall. Like, yeah, for 50 sure. Pictures. Shout out to Shanti. She was all on my wall. Man. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then um. Yeah, last but not least, who you like? It? Last but not least, Chris Brown. Chris Everybody Brown. love Chris Brown. Give me your motherfucking. Give me your top three moments so far in your life. Top three moments. Mm -hmm. Um, me going to South by Southwest, me performing a hash bash this year. That was pretty big to okay. me. And That's then the two. guy that actually put me on there passed away a okay. couple months ago. Right, rest in peace to him. So yes, long live him, um, right. Taylor boy. Um, and then um, third will have to be me getting my peasy feature. Okay. Shout out to Peasy. Everything Just waiting on the video. Yeah, come through, cuz. Come through, man. I'm from the east side. I'm from, you know, I'm from over here. <laughs> Give me your top three foods. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> what's your, all right, what's your go-to? You meet Craig? Craig, good nigga. No, okay. What about Craig? What's your go-to meal for, for Craig okay. and shit? Fuck Craig. I thought we talking about what I like. No, I'm saying this. Because I'm oxtail. Oh shit! What you mean? You, you old school then? Hell yeah! I'm still soup shit. Niggas talking about that. You know, Hell yeah! Mm -hmm. You you make you make beans. I love beans. Oh, you old school for sure. This is love your shit. Bro. I can't <laughs> stop making fucking smoked meat and beans or smoked I hate meat beans. and so. I right. love them. Black eyed peas, red Don't, beans, and man. Nah, red, and oh, red beans. I fuck with red beans and rice. Oh my god! I fuck with that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Give me I your, cook my ass off. Give me your motherfucking top three. Motherfucking top three TV shows. Top three TV shows? Yeah. Sheesh. I really, I just started watching TV like the older I got. Mm -hmm. um, I wasn't really big on it back then, but yeah. um, if I had to say it's Locks and Keys. Okay. <laughs> Don't nobody know nothing about See, the I don't, shit. I don't, I don't know shit about that. I ain't gonna lie. Oh my goodness, I love locks and keys. Um, yeah, got two more. Um, and then also, um, I'm starting to fuck with the BMF right now. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm loving the whole of powers um, yeah, yeah, universe yeah. shit sure, that Fifty's sure. doing. That's really caught my eye. Yeah. I'm not so much a P Valley bitch, but I, 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 niggas tell me it's, it's it's cold. I'm like I heard a lot of shit about it, but I ain't watched it. Yet. It could be oh too much. Yeah, I heard it's a little too much fucking. You know, yeah, but um, but. I will 
will say um, I'm in a TV show with Jew Does It, um, JDI. Okay. Um, the first one already aired last week on the 8th. You can look at that on YouTube. Oh, so what's that movie? Was it worth it? Was it worth it? All right, bet. We're going to catch yep, that shit. I'm in that bitch. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I've been trying to Jamar! get it. <laughs> Yo, what's your name on that motherfucker? Uh, uh, cl uh, cl uh Oh, Car Carla. Carla. Right, My name is Char Carla. Shout out to motherfucker Carla and shit. What's the name of that show again? Big Carla. Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Shit. Shout yes, out to Carla. Yep, shit. Yep. Who your, what's your what's your role? What you what you? Who I'm you? Carla. Um, so pretty much, I'm 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 I got a boyfriend. You know, I'm, I'm a ride or die bitch. I'm cooking for him. Make sure he eat. Yeah, make sure he good. good, shit, good he shit. leave out. He's supposed to want to go feed his grandma. Mm. The nigga go cheat on me. Damn. Fucking Carla. Yeah, cheat on. But then he regretted later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta check that shit out. Check that shit out. All right, we at the end. Give me your drunk moment, hot moment, or both. A moment when you was fucked up off the liquor or the weed or both the motherfuckers. Cause I don't think niggas do cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Damn, fuck. <laughs> so many. <laughs> nah, um. I want to drink everything. Give me a give me a motherfucking picture of shit. You think it, y'all? Hard. She was fucked up off the 1800. Give me an 1800 story. I think I got 18. Oh! Here be the liquor story. No, I just told him about the liquor story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want the liquor story. Give me, um, give me a single gin story. Let me see. Oh, <laughs> oh Everybody no. got the single gin story. Yeah, that was back in them days. Yeah, I know. That's those, them good stories. Yeah, um, I had to stop my name from grabbing pussy. It was all that single gin. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so <laughs> I, I, um, I was leaving out of minis. Right. On the other night, and, um, oh, shit, this recent, this recent story. <laughs> what you drinking? Let's go. Oh, I was drinking. Uh, I was leaving out of Minis. Uh, it was the um the the um the Cheddar Boys movie release. Okay. So we was we went to the after party at Minis. I was only in that bitch for five minutes. I walked out because one of my homegirls was too cheap, broke to pay to get in. Damn. But I'm like, bitch, your cheap broke ass could have just asked me for the money. Or something. No, I, I was about to say. Borrowed some. I was about to say. But like, I roll with you, yeah. ho. So that's why I walked outside. <laughs> so when I walk outside. I'm on the phone like, where you at? She like, oh. And out of nowhere, I feel a foot. Yeah. I got tripped. Yeah. Oh, shit. This big bareback fucking cheeseburger, sloppy ass, shitty looking fuck. He didn't trip me. Damn. You went down? I didn't fall. Okay. You look good. I did a little, but I got on heels, nails longer than the nigga dick. <laughs> like, like. Sexy bitch, yeah. fine as fuck. Like yeah. I was feeling myself. Yeah. I walked in fucking minis. They like, no, ice ain't gotta pay. Pay rolling them like, eh, 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 eh. scooch. They like, no, she good. I'm like, I'm that bitch. Yeah, for sure. You feel yourself. So, I done walk back out to go see about this broke bitch. And yeah, I got tripped. Yeah. So when I got tripped, I lost it. I lost it. I lost it. And when I say I lost it, I beat this nigga ass. And I just kept beating his ass. I just kept beating his ass. He purposely tripped me, bro. Like, he did the boy boy. And his homeboys was leaving. He was with about a few niggas, too. And they was like, why the fuck would you trip her? They like, what's wrong with you? And I'm steady mopping his shit while they talking to him. And I steady, I'm steady getting in there. Oh. Damn, you from the east side. Then his, home, <laughs> then his homeboy walk up to me like, like, Man, you know you got his lip bleed and his nose busted. I'm like, and Damn. I'm like, where he at? Bring him back outside. Like, I want more. Let me ask you this though. What if it was it was like a for real mistake? And he trying to explain to you, like, baby girl, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Mm -mm. But you already going crazy. It wasn't that though. Okay. But if it was, who how do you mistakenly stick your foot all the way out and trip a bitch who got on heels who look good? <laughs> who the only female outside that walked outside and you Duh, she said she was bobbing on this nigga, though. I was <laughs> fucking him up. I broke her purse. Cause I you, you was there too? No, she wasn't there, but oh. I had her oh, the first shit. was I had this little ass, like little hard purse. It's they hard as fuck. Duh. Like a little baby burkin. Damn. <laughs> I, I had this little ass purse. And when I say I, uh, I picked up all the belongings that came off of it. Damn. It broke apart. That bitch just shattered. Damn. Damn. Man, that Homie, purse shattered. You, you buy home girl, your girl some new purse? Mm -mm. Oh, shit. She owe your purse. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Duh, that's funny. She was hell. proud of me. God damn, you mob. Because she didn't have worse stories than me. No, you mob them, dude. Duh, that nigga. <laughs> I fucked him up, but it just, it, it, it's like. I like, wasn't thinking, I thought you were cussing the guy. I think it's, and, and, and I picked up every nail that, that came off from Hustle Bratz. Um, yeah, Hustle shout Nail Bratz. Shout out to Hustle Bratz. Uh, shit, yeah, shout out to Hustle Bratz. God nails. Yeah, that's funny. Um, all her, her press on, she had just gave me two. What a love. Damn, nobody recorded that shit. Off. 
I'm uh, surprised that bitch ain't online. You up it nigga might ass. be outside outside of Minnie's got Damn, a, um, that shit funny a camera. As hell, man. But I yeah, it, it, it was it, it was a bittersweet moment. I got <laughs> I let I got to let off some anger. For sure, for but sure. It was good, but at the same time, it's like I. I, I, I tend to talk to niggas while I beat their ass. And it, it'd be it's all like your spiritual mama be, and love. Yeah. It'd be positive. I'd be like, I do nothing but show Duh. your Man. love. And this is what I get. And I always, Damn. like the woman, I'm like, I ain't never kill an east side nigga yet. But I'm about to do it today. Duh. And I'm like, I do nothing but love y'all. Damn. And I was just a beat your ass while I tell you this. Drunk and I did it to bitches be, too. Damn. Damn. Like, I'd be like, I love hey, you, bitch. We I go, love we go, you. We go, we go, we go, we go. Send Hella into motherfucking. <laughs> oh. We're gonna make sure. Uh, uh, I'm about to call you Sierra again. Come on, bro. We're gonna get motherfucking mm-hmm. ISIS to come down a little bit. Shit, man. She, gonna, she ain't gonna beat your ass no more, dog. Cuz you probably made, you probably made a mistake, dog. You probably worse out 13, nigga. Feet probably was big, big as fuck or some shit, cuz. It wasn't a mistake because he ended up, follow, um, I ended up finding his Facebook. Mm-hmm. he been DMing me. Oh, shit. So he mad at you and shit. Hey, cuz. All right, now you a whole ass nigga. Nah, his homeboy did, gave it to me. If you did that shit on purpose, nigga, like. That's my whole shit, dog. His homeboy gave it to me. I've been shitting on, in, yeah. on Facebook. I've yeah. been shitting. He man. from Seven Mile on the West Side. Light skinned, big, funny looking nigga. Hey, man, I'm from the West Side. His bitch dog. had a baby a couple days after that <laughs> fight. His bitch had a baby a couple days after that fight. Damn. What's her Shut name? I've been cheating. I've been. Oh. <laughs> I've been shitting. Oh, I've been cheating. <laughs> That's shit. Mr. I've been cheating. I've been, been shitting. Hey, man. Been shitting. Hey, hey I, I took up for you. I see you wear a 14, dog. Oh, little feet ass. I mean, shit. Hey, hey, man, I wear a nine and a half, man. We good. Um, we good out here, man. I got three. I ain't gonna lie. The <laughs> world rock by nine and a half. <laughs> we good. It's all good. So that shit a little overrated and shit, dog. Uh, it is. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, get shit. I ain't. <laughs> Shit, but uh, yeah, off that shit. Let me, for, you know, say. But shit, man, I appreciate you coming on this motherfucker. This is uh, interesting, man. I'm, I'm yeah, glad you came sure. and shit. I'm glad I did too. Give people your uh, your social medias and shit where they can find you. All that good shit. I know you know you, but shit, let them know for you know what I'm saying who don't. Isis the goddess. I C I S T H E G O D D E S S. Isis the goddess. You got anything coming coming up and shit? Any project? Cause you've been dropping hella singles. When you gonna uh, yeah. come up with a project? I really been dropping hella singles because um. I mean, that's the way right now. You know, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to find that 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 one. Yeah. You know, to to get me that platform that For I sure. need to really release a lot of my unreleased music. For sure. However, um, I did an album at a young um start in my career. Mm-hmm. Um, five three with a mug. Okay. Um, you know, so it's like mm, I did that, and I was I did it too soon. And I look at other artists it's like y'all doing that for what? Yeah, but, yeah no okay. fan base. Yeah. yeah, you gotta have a fan base. So I'm just trying to just drop single, show people that I'm working, always stay current, always stay relevant. Video shoots, photo shoots. All that So sure. just keep looking out For the next hottest single Right now You know I got mad Twerking out here Um Make a bitch mad like this yeah, hard, yeah, That's yeah, my yeah. baby Um And I'm pushing Um The Wake and Shake Okay Let me bring it to the life Of a bad bitch yeah. You know So they're my two Newest singles that I'm pushing But I'm still fucking Pushing same sure. And last they here Hell yeah And putting it in y'all face no, sure. Cause I need for that sure. to, When you drop the uh, you know, When you drop the, the full When you ready for that Full body project Come back home Talk to me. We gonna rap and yeah. shit. I'm rapping with you and shit. We yeah. gonna rap together. Let's shit. do it. <laughs> it's yeah. on. You got anything? Any motivational words you wanna give some motherfucking ladies trying to, you know, saying do some shit, get some shit. You do not need nobody. You don't need to be in those rooms. Just keep working. Put yeah. out good quality music. Always get your shit mixed and mastered. Um, yeah, don't use YouTube cool. beats. Um, don't I, need I a did. nigga. Don't let a nigga even write, sit down and unless it's your boyfriend or something, somebody you trust, your cousin, somebody. Yeah. Like don't let. Don't let them too much into your your career. For you sure. know, do your thing. Can I ask you this real quick? Yeah. What's wrong with a YouTube if you a broke ass nigga? I mean, I honestly <laughs> I just wanna know. I feel like one of my best songs was a YouTube beat, which yeah. was um Inbox, my first song. Mm-hmm. Um that was actually produced by um K Makes. Mm-hmm. Um, I ended up reaching out to him and DMing him and asking him, can I get the beat? He said, yeah, but then it was it went from that to me being blocked or maybe he lost his Instagram. I don't For know. Sure. I never met him, don't know him. But however, um, I just feel like if the song blow... Yeah, then you can't do shit with it. Yeah, like, I come on. It. And you would never get that vibe again on yeah. another beat. I promise you, this is the last question I'm going to ask, then we done. Okay. What's the cheapest gift a nigga got you that made you feel good? Cause I ain't did some cheap shit, right, but I brought, I put some thought into it. This was my mama and my lady. Cheapest gift. A nigga got you that made you feel good. He put thought into that cheap ass gift. <laughs> you can't even think about it. Cause you, it's always easy to talk about bag, this ring, this that. What's the cheap gift that a nigga made? Somebody brought me some sushi. 
Damn, he ain't, ain't no thought that shit. <laughs> no, it's because like I literally oh, just started being a pescatarian at the time, and, and and it was just like the fact that you heard me say that, oh, and you okay, know okay. that so I just started eating sushi, yeah. and I just started eating sushi, and I and it, and I loved it, yeah. and I fucking loved it, and sure. and when they the way they brought it is like. It was, it was some hard to I, I ain't say I was hungry or nothing. Yeah. It's the fact that they just really just did it, you know? Sure. So, little shit like that. I mean, I appreciate little things, big yeah. things. Um, so, I already think like that. I for appreciate sure. all the little things. For sure, for sure, for sure. All right, sure. I appreciate you coming out of this motherfucker. We got some good conversation in and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, make sure y'all motherfucker uh, get with Isis the Goddess and shit, man. Uh, Tara, make you a cheesecake and shit in this motherfucker. Strawberry, be specific. You know about the strawberry cheesecakes? Yeah. You know why yeah. I thought you was saying, bringing that up? What up? Bringing up strawberry cheesecake Why? Cause I went viral About the strawberry cheesecakes Oh shit I'm tripping A, a strawberry shortcake And in the face Is when a nigga <laughs> When you're giving a dude Fellatio Okay And when he about to come He punch you in the nose And then Nothing Okay strawberry shortcake For those who just Not what? putting in What the So I remember okay. good when he said it. I'm like, oh. I, when he no. first said it, when I sat down, and I'm like, you talking about oh, when I was a baker? <laughs> yeah, cause I'm looking on Facebook like, oh, you was getting down on that motherfucker. Oh, dog. Yeah, what up? Jeez. Yeah, it's uh, showers, everybody. <laughs> All right, shower. Ice is the goddess episode, motherfucker. One thirty in this motherfucker dog podcast MVP. Voice of Detroit, man. We in this thing, man. Let's get it. Hey, hey, uh, I don't know if you girls want to get that motherfucker strawberry shortcake. Uh, I, I ain't gonna punch you in the nose and shit. Uh.